Hey guys, Ty the RV guy here and behind me I have one of the number one selling Rockwood Mini Light floor plans um, that Rockwood has to offer through their Mini Light lines. But first thing I want to jump into is something a little bit different here and I want to talk to you guys about what our dealership provides for you if you buy one of these behind me. So at Rangeland RV we include our camping package for you and what that's going to do is equip your trailer with a free 12 volt battery. We also include the power cord, power cord adapter pieces for you, your propane tanks and they get filled for you along with your water pressure regulator. So all those little things that you need to get out and start using your trailer are going to be provided for you. Um, another big thing that we love to include in that camping package for you is our six day service guarantee. We are the only dealer in Western Canada that offers something like this for you. And essentially what it is, is in the event that something happens to your trailer that is preventing you from using it. So let's say your, your slide out goes down or, or some big component like that. We can, uh, we can actually have something like that for you as soon as the trailer gets into our shop fixed in six days or less prior to us having the parts on hand. Now, there's another couple little things that we throw in there, but let's jump into this brand new 2021 Rockwood Mini Light 2509. This is a really cool floor plan because it features a double over double bunk in the back. You're gonna have a flip down Murphy bed in the front there and a big U-shaped dinette. You know, going into a little bit of the, the uh, specs on this coach, you're looking at an overall length from pin to bumper of 25 feet and 11 inches and a dry weight of about 5,200 pounds. So this is a very popular trailer because if you have that larger SUV or a half ton truck, you have all of that capability of a large trailer packed down into something like this and it's easy to tow. So another big thing that we love to talk about with Rockwood is their quality construction. This is probably one of the most popular brands and it, it is mainly due to their construction also because when we start looking at something like this, this is what we call a six-sided vacuum bonded trailer. So what that gives you is complete aluminum framing throughout the entire coach, even up into the ceiling and that block foam insulation all the way around also. Now on the topic of construction at the very front of the coach, and, and this is a new feature for the 2021s, is the fiberglass cap. This is a great feature to have because it wraps around the top of your roof and protects that main seal from ever separating, causing water damage inside your coach. Now, another thing you'll notice with this front cap here is you have a full automotive grade windshield. So if you do somehow get a rock up that high, it's always repairable if it chips it. Plus it gives you all that natural light into the front of your coach, which you don't standardly get on a lot of models. Just underneath that, you're gonna have two 30 pound propane tanks instead of your 20s that you usually see. And of course, you're gonna have a power tongue jack here too, so it's much easier hooking it up to the vehicle or unhooking it at your campsite. They even give you a little light on there, so if you're trying to work in the dark, you can see what you're doing. Now just behind that, you're also gonna have a spot for a dual battery. Um, like I mentioned, in our camping package, we provide you with the single battery, but if you wanna upgrade to that dual, we can help you out with that as well. Now, follow me back this way. As of course we, uh, we start working along the side here, you're gonna notice you're prepped for um, on, the, uh, on the side solar here. So if you wanna do a portable panel, you're ready to go. It's also got a solar prep on the roof for you too. So if you wanna install a panel up there, we can easily help you out with something like that um, through our parts department at Rangeline. Now, looking into your storage doors here, Rockwood changed some things around. For example, the lock on this door now is actually called a key alike system. So the same key that's gonna open the deadbolt on your main door here actually locks all your compartment doors too. So you're the only person that has the keys to every single door of your trailer. Now, as we open this door up, you'll also notice Rockwood's a big contender when it comes to small little details. So you'll see they have the little magnets on there for you too. Of course, with your Murphy bed here, it's gonna sit within your pass-through storage, but not to worry, you still have full access around here and right through to the other side. You can even access it from underneath the couch on the inside of there too. <clears throat> now, one of the things that uh, that a lot of our clients really like about Mini Light is they put the largest awning on, on their trailers as they possibly can. So you can see this stretches right from the front all the way to the very back there too. This is a full power awning with the LED light strip. So it's a great feature to have and Rockwood even steps it up another level for you by putting in a full one control system in here. So new for the 2021s, there's actually a little QR scan code on the side of the panel that you can see just inside the door there. You can pair your phone to your trailer and absolutely like, and you can actually work your awning, you can work your slide out, you can work all your lights right from the push of a button on your mobile device. Super, super cool. When we start looking at the doors here, of course you have a friction hinge, which is standard on all Rockwood models. And they even give you the little clip on the back here too, so you're covered in both ways. Um, as we look at the screen door, again, those little details the Rockwood do are really, really cool. 
It's got an auto closing screen door for you. There's even a blind up in the top window of the door there so you can knock out all the light inside your trailer. Now looking at these more ride steps, these aren't the traditional steps that you've seen on some brands. This is actually a full gas strutted uh, assisted sensor. Simply lift with one finger nice and easily. It'll actually hold itself here. So they're super, super simple to, sit, uh, to set up. And of course it's adjustable legs on either side so you can always get that nice stable entry inside of your trailer. Let's keep working our way this way. So of course, another big construction benefit that you get out of the Rockwood Mini Light line is the frameless bonded windows. These are great because of course, like you can see, there's no exposed seals around the edges here. So over the years of use, your trailer isn't gonna start forming any kind of leaks in the seals because they're completely protected by the glass. And they do open from the bottom out, so you can use them in the rain. As we keep going this way, you're gonna have some nice outside speakers here. And then just below that, an outside TV bracket. Another thing that Rockwood includes right from the factory for you is this really cool suburban cast iron cooktop. So there is a little railing that comes off the side here. We just don't have it set up here today. So you will get your little outside table. This grill will sit just beside it here. And of course, you're, you're set to go uh, outside cooking because of course there's gonna be a gas connection right here running off the 30 pound tanks as well. As we keep going this way, you'll notice you even have an outside kitchen. So now you have a two burner cooktop. You're gonna have your cast iron grill over here. You can really chef it up outside if you really want to. Of course, you have the outside, uh, outside fridge here so you can keep your beverages and snacks cold right from the outside. And then just beside that, you're gonna have a hot and cold tap here. So if you wanted to wash your hands off or you have those big cast iron frying pans that go over the fire pit, you can easily give that a spray and toss it even in behind here because there's some extra storage. Now before we jump to the back of the coach, I want to talk about one of the big features that you also get out of the Rockwoods construction and that's their suspension system. This is what you call an independent rubber ride torsion axle suspension. Big benefits you have here of course, no leaf springs. So it's allowing for the actual axle to roll with the road just like your vehicle does independently. Now with that too, the rubberized uh, suspension absorbs those vibrations from passing back inside your trailer, essentially protecting your coach over the years of use. And of course, to top it all off, you have a Goodyear tire on here, so a real name brand tire, and Rockwood even steps it up another level from there, and they give you full onboard tire pressure monitoring system. So it comes with a small computer that goes right inside your, uh, your vehicle, and it'll tell you the temperature and the pressure of the tires real time going down the highway. It's really cool. You don't find that on any other trailer in this category. Follow me back this way and we'll talk about some of the cool features on the rear. So when you're looking at the back of this mini light, you're gonna notice, of course, you have a ladder to get up onto the roof, which is of course fully walkable and it's that vacuum bonded four inch thick. Um, you're gonna have your backup pre-wire camera there for you. So we do carry those at the parts department at Rangeland so we can set you up with that as well. And then just underneath your bumper here, of course you have your spare tire, which is a full size spare, and then you even have a two inch receiver here. This is great if you have a bike rack or if you have an extra storage rack you wanna put on here because that carries up to 300 pounds. So if you wanna put a generator on here, you know, some bikes or uh, even a cooler, firewood, you name it, you have that much more storage now in a trailer of only 25 feet. Follow me back to this, the, the back side here. <clears throat> As we're looking at the rear of this mini light, you're gonna have your power connection for you. And then just beside that, you have an outside hot and cold shower, of course, and your black tank flush. Now, Rockwood, again, dialing it up another level for you. They give you the antifreeze inlet as well. So if you're not familiar with both of these are, your black tank flush is gonna help uh, clean out the sewer tank inside your trailer by simply hooking a garden hose up to it and flushing out the whole system. And then beside it here with the antifreeze inlet, you can actually set the jug down on the ground full of antifreeze, hook it up to this inlet, and start doing your winterizing with the quick turns of your valves. Now, going into that construction detail again with the Rockwood Mini Light, one of the things you may notice if you look at some other models is you can go up to the side, uh, the side of your slides here and you can push them and they pop and flex. That's what's called a hung wall fiberglass. It's most susceptible to water leaks. You're not gonna see that with a Rockwood here. It's got that nice vacuum bonding, aluminum framing throughout the entire coach in the walls so it's nice and sturdy. On the back side of this slide out, you do have some additional storage space underneath the dinette slide out here. And one of the things I love to point out to everybody, again, talking about the fit and finish behind a Rockwood, is you'll even notice there's some aluminum framing underneath this dinette. Rockwood is one of the only brands in the industry that actually gives you not only exterior aluminum framing, but interior aluminum framing. So it just goes to show how much quality construction you're getting out of this brand here. As we work our way through, 
another little storage spot here. Most brands wouldn't go into the extra time and effort to give you this spot of storage here. But again, with Rockwood, they're the type of brand that, you know, when they build their trailers, they're doing absolutely everything that they possibly can to give you the advantage. So you're gonna see something like that here. Of course, at the front, you're gonna have your docking light switch here, which we can turn on and it gives you that really nice uh, LED light right into your fiberglass cap. And then you're gonna see your four corner stabilizers here. Now Rockwood Mini Light does give you the options of going with a, uh, power stabilizer, a power stabilizer as well, excuse me. But with these ones here, we have ordered them in with the manual stabilizer jacks because we do find that sometimes they do get broken and these are very easy to replace. So let's make our way all the way back around and uh, we'll jump inside the trailer and talk about some of the really cool features there. Now a couple of things that you, uh, you won't be able to see from the uh, interior or exterior of the coach is Rockwood Mini Light actually comes with a full onboard uh, water purification system and they even come with a little device called a Wi-Fi Ranger. That's really cool because of course if you go to a campsite that has a Wi-Fi signal, you can actually pair that up to the campsite's Wi-Fi and it boosts it directly inside your trailer for you. So now that we're inside the 2509, you can see for a trailer of 25 feet, you have an immense amount of space in here. And that's because you have this full slide out here with the U-shaped dinette. And of course, it's very well set up to give you that interior space. Let's start with the kitchen here. So on the first side of the kitchen, like you can see, there's some extra cabinetry here. And talking about the cabinets too in the drawers, you're gonna have full solid wood drawers. So these are, it's a, it's a solid wood front here. You're gonna notice on the inside, you have solid plywood. They even have full ball bearing extension drawer glides. So everything is covered. The fin fit and finish out of a Rockwood is truly amazing. And then you look at the countertop. So this actually has that nice solid surface countertop. This isn't that plastic membrane stuff that you may have, uh, may have heard me talk about before. It's definitely not a T-mold. So this is gonna be way better when it comes to heat resistance or even scratching the top. Now, as we look into the countertop too, you'll notice they give you a recessed stain, uh, stainless steel sink. This is great too because of course, it's a uh, double sink so you can easily wash and dry on either side. And then they give you a nice high rise stainless faucet here. So of course it just makes it that much more of a usable sink. On the end, Rockwood even gives you a little countertop extension here to maximize your amount of prep space. And then same thing with the stove. They give you a tempered glass cover on top of your three burners here. Now, talking about the stove and oven, you're actually gonna get an oversized oven in here. This is a 22 inch glass door oven. So it's much larger than what you've seen in the industry. And it's the same thing with your fridge too. You have an eight cubic foot fridge here, which is gas and electric. And it's a lot larger than your standard six that you see in most of, in most of the other brands out there. Here's actually that little computer that goes inside your vehicle and tells you the temperature and pressure of your tires. <clears throat> Now, as we work our way through, of course, you're gonna have a range hood here. You're also gonna have your microwave. And then just beside that, you have a spot here for a t uh, TV as well. And it comes with that nice big swivel bracket. Now, as we're looking at the rest of the kitchen, straight across from here, you're gonna have a nice big pantry here. And again, when we're talking about these cabinets, it's all hidden hinge construction here, nice solid wood. And then as we work our way through the dinette, you're gonna have a lot of storage underneath here and they give you actual drawers too with full ball bearing extension drawer glides so it's a usable space. And this does make down into a bed very easy. The one thing I like to point out too with the U-shaped dinette and a Rockwood is they use a freestanding table. Beautiful thing with this is if you wanna take it outside, you can. Plus it's way easier to set up. You just release this little yellow pin here and what you can simply do is put your foot on it and it'll start to collapse and come down into place for you very easily. So it just sets on the brackets there. You use the back cushions to fill it in and you have yourself a massive bed here. This is what Rockwood calls the King U-shaped dinette. Now inside your slide out here, you're also noticing there's, some, uh, there's a lot of extra storage up above there too and you still get a large window with that too. Lots of brands don't give you that. And then of course, to top it all off in the slide, you even have an additional pantry or wardrobe because what they've done is they've given you all adjustable shelving in here and a hanging bar up top. Let's work our way towards the back here. As we're heading back, what you'll notice right above my head here is the air conditioning. Now, this is a full 13 
uh, 13,500 BTU air conditioner. And one of the nice things that you get out of this is it's actually a full ducted AC. A lot of trailers in the size category don't give you that. So you're going to have proper climate control throughout the entire coach. Now, looking at the bunk beds here, this is great because again, Rockwood going that little bit extra step for you. They give you a four inch thick bunk mattress and it's even teddy bear wrapped too. It's the largest bunk mattress you can possibly get in there. So of course, who's ever sleeping in here is going to be very comfortable. One of the other great features about it too is of course each bunk has its own window and they're both opening windows as well. And they even have a light in either one of them along with USB chargers too. Now this bottom bunk does something really cool. You can actually flip it up and you can use this entire space underneath here for again, more additional storage. This is great if you wanna put bikes inside of here. Again, those larger items we were talking about on the back side of the trailer. <clears throat> Now, as we go into the bathroom, you're gonna notice some really cool features. I'll let you guys jump in there and have a look around. Of course, you have a foot flush toilet. You're gonna to actually have a tub shower. This is great if you wanna bathe the little ones there. And then what Rockwood also does is they give you what's called a shower miser system. This is a great water saving tool for your trailer because it helps cycle the hot water through the water tank, um, the hot water tank, I should say, um, so you're not wasting it as uh, and going into your gray tank as you're heating up that water. Now, of course, the little touches do make a huge difference and I love what Rockwood's done. They even give you this little uh, uh, toothbrush holder here with a little cup holder as well. And then up above, they give you a still a really nice usable um, medicine cabinet. And of course, nice deep sink here. You can easily get your hands in there. And then again, a little spot here for some storage and underneath. So every little thing that Rockwood does, they do it for a reason and that's why I love this brand. You have a max air fan up in the top there that comes standard. And of course, with something like that, it moves 900 cubic feet of air per minute. So if you're dry camping and you don't have the option of running your air conditioner, that is a great secondary way of controlling the climate inside your trailer. Now, as we look towards the front here, there is probably the biggest feature out of this particular brand is their Murphy bed systems as well. So it's very, very easy to set up. And I always like to say that Rockwood's perfected the Murphy bed system for a couple simple reasons. What we have here, of course, starting off with the couch, the center piece of this couch will fold down, giving you cup holders, which is really cool. And then on either side, <coughs> excuse me, you actually have these little pull handles, which will recline them out for you. And setting up is very easy. You just simply pull the handle here. It's going to fold your couch flat. And then with your Murphy bed system, you have two clips on either side. So once we release those, we can simply put a knee on here, grab with one hand, and it folds down into place. It's very easy. Like you can see, they give you these straps here to help hold the mattress and bedding in place so you're not always having to remake your bed. <clears throat> and the reason why I say Rockwood has perfected the Murphy bed system is what you have here is a solid mattress. So it's not a split mattress, which can be very uncomfortable to sleep on. And it's actually supported with a bed frame that goes to the ground. A lot of them simply just rest on the couch and they're bouncing around. They eventually wreck your couch too. So this is a perfect setup. And of course, to top it all off, Rockwood gives you a heated mattress in here, which is super, super cool. On either side of this bed, of course, you're gonna have these nice big wardrobes which are very deep. And of course, if you wanted to hang a large coat in there or a shirt, you easily can. And then a nice headboard on top there. You'll have some drawers on the side. Down on our side over here, you're gonna have two plugins and they even give you a real 12 volt charging center. That's a really nice feature to have because if you're not plugged in, you can actually charge a cell phone directly off the batteries instead of not being able to use your outlets. <clears throat> now packing this bed up is very, very easy. There's a lock on the side here. You just simply pull the release. We lift it up and it's actually gaff strut assisted on either side. So it's very, very easy to lift. We just push it back into place. You don't even have to lock it into place while you're sitting at the campsite. Those are really for just when you're traveling. And then it's a simple thing with the couch as well. You just lift up on the couch. Like you can see more additional storage space under here, which goes into your pass through and it comes down like so. So that pretty much wraps it up here, guys. Actually, there is one cool feature I did miss. This trailer does have a full enclosed underbelly on it as well, right from the factory, and it's insulated for you. Plus, Rockwood gives you 12 volt heat pads on all of your tanks. So if you're that early shoulder season camper where you're going early spring or late fall, you're set to do so. 
Like you can see with these Rockwood Mini Lights, they come jam-packed with pretty much every feature and option that you could think of. And to top it off, of course, you have some of the best fit and finish in the industry. That's why they're some of my favorite trailers at our dealership here. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you have any questions, make sure you give us a call or you can even contact me. My email is tyler at Rangeland RV. And of course, thanks again for watching. Happy camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here and welcome to our showstopper unit this year at the RV Show. This is our Grey Wolf 26 DBH 2021 version, so this comes packed with all the brand new features. First thing I want to get into detail with you guys on is the overall length and weight of this trailer. From pin to bumper, you're looking at a rough length of about 32 feet and a dry weight of about 5,800 pounds dry. This is great because if you have a half ton truck, you're easily able to pull the number one selling bunk trailer on the market. So let's jump into some of the cool details here and starting with construction. With the Grey Wolf 26 DBH, what makes it really special is you're looking at what is called a 12 inch on center uh, stud wall in behind this aluminum framing or the aluminum structure here and a 5 8 tongue groove plywood. The reason why we love to talk about that with this brand is a lot of our competitors do a 16 inch to a 24 inch spacing and they use OSB in the floors. So the biggest thing that you need to keep in mind is this is like a house that goes through an earthquake every single weekend. More structure the better and that's what you get out of a Grey Wolf. Now, Let's jump into some really cool features here. Looking at the front compartment, you have a beautiful front compartment that stretches all the way underneath your bed there and you can easily access it from underneath the bed like I just mentioned. There's a beautiful light in here too so you have lots of vision of what you can actually put inside of your trailer. Now moving our way up to the front here, you'll have what we like to call kind of like the manual power tongue jack if you will. This is really nice because like you can see it's a manual jack now but once you flip this over it actually allows you to release the actual sorry we're a little tight here but once you flip it over there you actually have the little socket that pops out the top and you can quickly put your drill on here and it zips that jack up and down for you very very easily saves you the time and it saves you the money from buying that big power tongue jack right behind that you're gonna have two, uh, dual 20 pound per pain tanks and you're also gonna have enough space for a dual battery if you needed to. Um, the reason why I recommend a dual battery on this particular trailer is there's some really cool 12 volt features that we will talk about in a minute here. As we work our way down the, the, uh, the opposite side of the trailer here, you'll have your uh, six gallon quick recovery gas electric hot water tank. Of course, you're gonna see your manual stabilizers and you're gonna have four of those on all four corners of this trailer. And then just behind me, you have your big super slide. And what Grey Wolf uses on here is called a Schwintech system. This is great because it's a four corner pull system. It's a four corner gear track that evenly pulls the slide in and out from all four corners. Now, as we work our way through the rest of the trailer here, you'll notice that Grey Wolf gives you the slide awning toppers here, which we can also help equip with uh, this trailer at Rangeland here. And right on the very far back side, you're gonna have your power cord, which is also a detachable power cord, so it doesn't leave a hole for rodents easily to get into your trailer. And then of course, your outside hot and cold shower here. This works great if the kids are at the beach and you wanna kinda spray them down before they get inside, or if you have pets or anything like that. Now, like we just showed you, the big uh, storage compartment in the front, this trailer also has an awesome storage compartment in the back underneath that bunk bed. So like you can see, it stretches underneath the entire bunk. You have tons and tons of storage inside of here. And we're not done yet when it talks about exterior storage. As you work your way over to the back side, right from factory, Grey Wolf gives you this beautiful flip down travel rack. This is great because it holds up to about 100 to 150 pounds with the spare tires still on there. And it's great because you can put your generators, bikes, firewood, you name it on here. And a lot of times you gotta pay about six to 800 bucks extra just to get one of these installed in your trailer. And Grey Wolf's giving it to you for free. Just above that, you're also gonna have a full backup camera. And that's already installed for you. Comes with the camera that goes, or the screen that goes inside your truck and you're set to go. It actually pairs up to your cell phone, which is really cool. But here, follow me around the front side now. 
One of the big things that people love about this floor plan is like you can see, there is a dual door entrance here. And with the doors, they've actually gone to this new glass look door. It's super, super cool. As you can see, it really cleans the look up of the trailer. And you can walk right into the bathroom from the outside. It's super, super cool. Let's keep working our way down the side here. Right beside the door, you have a black tank flush. And for those who aren't familiar with what this does, you can hook a garden hose right up to that and it completely flushes out the inside of your sewer tank. So you're not getting the buildup on the anode rods inside there or getting that breath of fresh air when you flush your toilet. Now, right above me here, you're gonna see you have a big power awning with the blue LED light strip. And then just below that, you'll have your backlit outside driven speakers. These are really cool. And with the driven system, this is a new system that's been introduced into Grey Wolf. And what it gives you is full compatibility with your cell phone and it's got a subwoofer in it now. So you have premium audio right out at the campsite. Now to top it all off for the exterior of this coach, Grey Wolf gives you one more. They even added in an outside kitchen. This is actually a full outside kitchen too because what it gives you is a nice pull out cooktop here with a sink and a second outside shower to help fill that sink up with water. You'll have an outside fridge and of course the one thing you always forget or you always run out of, ice, so they give you an ice maker too. It's really cool. <clears throat> Once you're finished up with it, there's a little lock there that releases it and allows you to slide it back inside. Now looking at the main entry door here, again, you have that really nice glass door, but just underneath it, you'll have the Moride steps. These are amazing steps to must have uh, to have on your trailer because what they do is they flip up right inside. They can actually fix right inside the door frame there and they're not hanging underneath here like you'd see in older steps that get full of gravel, full of dirt, start rusting out, they're hard to use. These are nice and simple, you pull them out. They're adjustable on either side with the arms so you can always get a stable entrance into your trailer, even with the oversized grab handle. Come on inside and we'll check out some of the really cool features. So first thing you notice walking inside this 26 dBH here is the amount of space that you have. This super slide really opens up the area. And then right to my right here, you'll have your kitchen. So let's talk a little bit about the little fit and finish things that you'll get out of a Grey Wolf. Because this is a traditional built trailer, a lot of times you're gonna see those little fit and finish things are dialed back, but not in this Grey Wolf. You'll have an actual seamless countertop here, which has been even thickened from last year's model. And the beautiful part about this is over the years of use, your countertop isn't gonna to start to pull apart like the T molds. Just beside that, you'll also have a beautiful tub stainless sink with the exposed stainless edge. So it's second to none in the industry when you look in this category. And above that, you'll have a sprayer faucet here too, which is nice black stainless too to clean up that look. And of course, being that we're in COVID times, Grailf has even offered or introduced a little hand sanitizer sprayer, which you can also use as a soap dispenser too, if you'd like. Another little touch that they just added in with their kitchens is a cutting board. This is so cool. They've actually put magnets on the back of this here for you too. So you can set it down and when you're done with it, it just goes right back in its own spot. Now, right in front of that, of course, you're gonna have your Greystone grill here or cooktop. This is a three burner cooktop with a tempered glass cover. So it really cleans up the look, but it also allows you to utilize all that counter space in here. And of course they add in the nice blue dials, um, like you see it, like to compare with the outside of the colors there too. And just underneath that, you're gonna have your glass door oven. Now, like I was mentioning before with some of the really cool 12 volt features in this trailer, what Grey Wolf has done is they've gone to a full 12 volt fridge. And this is beautiful because now what you'd standardly have in this trailer is a six cubic foot fridge and you've jumped up now to a 10. This is a huge fridge. It completely runs off of battery. And what Grey Wolf has also done is they've added what's called the juice pack. So now on top of your trailer, you have a solar panel to help keep those batteries topped up while you're operating this fridge. And if you're the dry camper that goes out into the middle of the bush and starts camping, you have a dry camp setting on this fridge that you can use. Plus we can help rig you up at the dealership with some extra solar panels, more batteries and things like that. So you're set to go. Now, as we look into the slide out here, 
you have probably one of the largest dinettes in the industry with some of the be best accessible storage. The reason why we say that is because Grey Wolf gives you 40 inch dinette drawers on either side of your dinette. So you're not having to lift up the cushions at all to utilize all of this space. And what we're talking about drawers here, the big thing that we love to mention is you'll see this is all plywood material that they do in here. You'll also have solid drawer ends, so solid wood. Um, if we look at the kitchen drawers here, they're all full, full ball bearing extension drawer glides. Again, you have that plywood, solid wood fronts, even on your cabinet doors. These are all solid wood and they even do the nice glass touches too. As we work our way back, you have one of the biggest features of this trailer also, which is the massive, massive pantry. So you'll have enough storage in here for all the food that you'll need when you're out camping, especially with the family that you might have. <clears throat> And it's got a full door too. Now, right behind me here, you'll have the double over double bunks. This is awesome because what they also introduced is a nice pull out ladder. So you're not gonna be worried about having the kids climb up here. It's gonna be nice and easy for them. And the bunks are also a teddy bear mattress wrap on here too. So this is very comfy for the kids. It's nice and warm. And then of course, they'll each have their own USB plug-in and they'll even have their own outlet too to keep up with you know kids bringing the tablets and things like that there's also curtains to help separate the areas too so you can have some extra privacy while we're in the main area here i do want to talk about some really cool fit and finish items for an example if we look at the windows here first of all you have massive windows in this trailer and the little touches too you have an actual wood valence here with some curtains beside it it's a nice added touch that you don't see in this traditional build category and just underneath it you'll have these really, really nice pull down blinds. So it actually works also as a day and night shade too. Like you can see here, it's a little more see-through on these edges, but if we simply close it like this, it completely blocks out all of the light. It's a great touch that Grey Wolf has introduced. So as we work our way back here, you'll have the beautiful bathroom. I'll let you guys jump inside there. So as you go in, you'll notice it's a big, big shower with a little half tub there. So it's keeping the water inside. And of course they do a nice plastic surrounding on there too. So you're not worried about damaging the walls with any kind of water. Um, of course in the corner, Grey Wolf has strategically placed the sink and medicine cabinet here. And the reason why is because when we open this up, it's a lot more storage here. Same thing with your, your medicine cabinet up above. Being that it's in the corner, it's a lot deeper. And to top it all off, you have a foot flush toilet and right above my head, you're gonna have the 12 volt high powered vent fan. So this works great if you're out dry camping again and you don't have access to power, you can always cool down your, tra cool down your trailer with that awesome fan. Follow me up this way to the bedroom here. So as we start working our way towards the front, you're gonna see this is where your driven audio system is. And like I mentioned, it's all smartphone capable. It's AM, FM, Bluetooth. You have even an HDMI inlet here if the kids really wanna bring out the Xbox or something like that. And then just above that, you'll see that big subwoofer that they've just introduced for that premium audio. Now, as we work our way down, they've added some really beautiful accent lighting in here into this cabinetry. And then of course, your fireplace. This is a 5100 BTU electric heater too. So again, you're gonna have, of course, your ducted furnace in here, but even another way to heat that trailer. So it's perfect if you wanna go into that early season or late season camping. One of the things that I also wanna to mention too is they just introduced, they've actually enclosed your water tanks on here too. So it is gonna help with a little bit of that insulation factor too for early or late season camping. Let's check out the bedroom. So as you come into the bedroom here, you're gonna notice it's actually got a lot of storage. So on either side, you have both hanging wardrobes, which are very deep, so you can easily hang a shirt in here, no problem. And then up above, you'll even have some cabinetry too. And the nice thing with, these, with this particular style of storage is they've actually given you cabinet doors above. A lot of manufacturers like to just put a shelf there, which is a not a usable space at all, especially when this trailer's moving. Plus, when we look at the doors in here, most of the trailers in this category have a small curtain that comes across or just a paper door. This is actually a solid door on rollers that will close the entire area off like so. So it's a way more private atmosphere in here. 
Now there is a couple of things that I do want to touch on while we're still in this trailer. For an example, your control panel in here is very cool too. What Grey Wolf has introduced is the one control system into their control panels. So what this does is you can actually pair your cell phone to this device here and your slide out, your awning, your lighting is all controllable right from a push of a button on your mobile device. It's very, very advanced for this class of trailer. Like I mentioned guys, if you're gonna go with a traditional build, you know, you have the best quality of construction in the Grey Wolf brand here. You have the most features you can possibly pack into this style of floor plan, and that's why it is the number one selling bunk model trailer in the industry. That pretty much wraps it up here today. If you're if you're interested in something like this, make sure you give us a call. We have some special RV show pricing on this unit, so give us a shout right now. Again, I'm Ty the RV Guy with Rangeland RV, and thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Hey everyone, Ty the RV Guy here and I'm standing with... I'm Jason from Rangeland RV and we're gonna show you the all new 2021 Grey Wolf 26 DBH BL, which is the black label version of the 26 uh, DBH. I'm gonna let Tyler tell you some cool things about this trailer. Yeah, first thing that we're gonna jump into with you guys on is the overall length and weight of this trailer. So starting from pin to bumper, you're looking at 31 feet and seven inches exactly, and a dry weight of about 6,100 pounds. So if you have that nice half ton truck, you're gonna be able to take this trailer to any campsite you like. Now, let's first talk about some construction on the Grey Wolf here, because especially the black label gives you some really cool additions. What you're gonna notice right off the bat compared to a lot of your standard uh, gray wolves is this is now a fiberglass exterior now with that it's also a gel coat fiberglass so it's going to hold up a lot longer in the elements against uh, say sunlight from fading it and that type of thing too with uh, with the rest of your black label package here you'll notice they've upgraded the windows on the exterior so now you have this beautiful bonded frameless window that opens from the bottom out so you can use it in the rain Go ahead, tell them a little bit more about this black label. Yeah, you'll see in the video series that we do feature the regular 26 dBH, but we wanted to show you the black label as well because some customers do want to go up. It's like buying a truck. You can buy a lower trim level or you can buy something with a few extra features and some luxury features. So first of all, as we walk around, we're going to see, did you talk about slam latch or I mean, did you talk about magnetic door Not catches? Not yet, no. When we go to the black label, we go to a one-handed operation on a magnetic uh, door catch. You can also see uh, that this unit has a great pass-through storage. All right. Yeah, lots of space up in the front there, guys. And as we work our way up to the front here, there's a couple things that we love to note. Um, of course, with the new uh, with the new tongue jack that they've just put on these Grey Wolves, this gives you the option now of a manual crank down, or you can simply turn the top over, and it actually releases that little pin in the top here where you can put your power drill on there, and it turns it right into a power tongue jack. It's a great feature to have because, first of all, of course, you can lift the truck or lift the trailer off the truck up and down that much faster, and you're saving yourself the money from spending on that big power tongue and jack. And you can use that same drill to activate your four quarter stabilizer jacks on this trailer as well absolutely right. while we're looking at the front here of course you can see you're going to have dual propane tanks you'll also have right behind that enough space for dual batteries and the reason why we talk about dual batteries on a trailer like this is there's a really cool feature called the juice pack on this trailer what is that all about yeah so um what Grey Wolf and Cherokee, all the Cherokee and Grey Wolfs that we order at Rangeland RV, we put on an additional 50 watt solar panel, which is a battery charging system. So if your trailer's parked, when you get back to your trailer, you're gonna ensure that your batteries are fully charged. Um, and then also, if you're going to dry camp, we certainly do recommend adding to that solar. We do lots of different solar options at Rangeland RV. So just consult one of our salespeople, one of us, and we're uh, more than happy to guide you in the right direction as to what you're gonna need for your style of camping. Absolutely. Let's take a little walk around here. Yeah, so as we start going down the side of the trailer, first thing you're going to notice, you have this beautiful big power awning here with the nice LED light strip all the way across it. And what Grey Wolf has done this year in the new 2021s is added in a one control system. So right on your panel on the inside there, you can actually pair your cell phone up to this trailer and operate that awning right from a push of a button. Same thing with your slide outs and all your interior exterior lights. It's an amazing feature that you don't find in this category of travel trailer throughout the market. Yeah, another thing I love about this awning too is when this awning is extended it's what they call the easy pitch solera awning so all you need to do is walk over the side of the awning you'll pull a handle and it will tilt your awning so 
If it's raining, we want you to make sure that the water is shedding off the side and not pooling in the middle, which could damage your uh, trailer fabric, or even this center pole can bend with enough water in it as well. Absolutely. Right. Another cool feature that you'll notice with these Grey Wolves is the new door. So this actually has a friction hinge door on here, but they've gone to a black glass on the outside. So it really cleans the look up. Of course, they give you the nice Grey Wolf badging on the bottom here, so it looks really cool. And then just beneath that door, you have these great more ride entry steps. So simple steps, uh, step system here you can simply lift up on it and they fold right inside the trailer it's much better of uh, the older style steps you may have seen on some other coaches because they sit underneath they get full of gravel and start rusting out and they're really hard to use and then of course they're adjustable on either side so if you're on that uneven ground you can always get that stable entry inside of your trailer yeah you're gonna also notice that this year in um, many of Cherokee and Grey Wolf the, in the lineups that they're including an outside kitchen and not just on bunk bottom trailers like you're typically used to seeing. We're gonna be showing you another trailer, the 23MK uh, BL that's gonna feature an outside kitchen too. What's cool about uh, Grey Wolf and Cherokee is they have uh, have this like patented small footprint outside kitchen but gives you everything that you're looking for. So two burner infrared stove with a sink basin and an outside shower with hot and cold water. They also give you a nice uh, uh, bar fridge out here for refreshments and snacks. And then on top of it, an ice maker. We hear from our customers all the time that they're out at their campsite, they can't buy ice anywhere, they're running out of ice quickly. And yeah. uh, if so, you drink like Tyler, you're gonna run out of ice really quickly. So uh, <laughs> you always have ice. And we actually have these around our dealership uh, in our lunchroom and yeah. in our uh, staff area. And they do make ice really quickly, efficiently. They're an amazing ice maker. Yeah, it's awesome. You always yeah. run out of ice when you're at the campsite. So as we're moving along, here you'll also notice along with that blue light on your awning being that this is a black label they give you that really nice um, full blue lit badging and then if just underneath that you have your outside speakers with your outside TV bracket now with these outside speakers this is a new system they've gone with it's actually called the driven audio system so yeah it gives you outside inside speakers but they've even added a subwoofer to this so you're gonna have premium audio out at the campsite and it's again all smartphone capable so you can pair right up to that Bluetooth of course AM FM you name it you have it all I like as well that this year that they went to this really nice uh, black wheel on this trailer. So you're not getting a powder coated saw wheel, you're getting an actual rim on it. They look super sharp and most, most everybody pulling a trailer like this has some cool aftermarket wheels on the truck. It matches up really Absolutely. nice. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, for sure. And then one of the features on this trailer, super popular, is that exterior door to the bathroom. So the idea is this, you're outside camping, kids are running around. Instead of them having to traipse through the trailer and drag money, mud or dirt in and out of the trailer, they can just scoot in. Use the bathroom or what else I like is that if you're out and the kids are asleep and you're uh, sitting around the campfire maybe staying up a little bit later uh, with friends if somebody needs to just wash them they don't need to walk directly beside the kids bunks potentially waking them up but they can just sneak in here use the bathroom and be right back absolutely outside. and a lot of times too with that bathroom entrance you lose your outside kitchen yep. so that's the really nice part of this floor plan is you have it all bathroom entrance and that outside kitchen follow us around the back here there's some really cool features as we work our way through one of the new things they've just added is a leash latch here this works great for uh, any pets or of course your kids too it's nice and strong just make sure of course you have them detached before you start going down the road and then this is a feature that I just I do not think anybody is going to offer uh, in this category of trailers so uh, you're used to seeing backup camera prep on trailers our Grey Wolves this year will come with an actual backup camera and this camera I believe pairs directly to your cell phone which oh, it is does. used as a monitor so you'll have it secured somewhere on your dash on a holder and you can uh, see it and, and use it as a backup camera uh, when you get down to your campsite beautiful beautiful so like you can see of course just underneath that backup camera what Grey Wolf always gives you from the factory is this flip down travel rack. This is awesome because most of the times you're paying about six to 800 bucks extra just to get something like this installed in your trailer. Again, right from factory, this carries 150 pounds worth of weight on the back with that spare tire still on here. So if you bring a generator with you, firewood, coolers, things like that, you always have a place to put it. As we go around to the other side here, there's also a lot of storage. You're gonna notice all the lighting is now uh, LED on the backs um, for your exterior lighting. So you're not worrying about those incandescent bulbs burning out. And then on on the topic of storage, you have this massive spot underneath the bunk bed here. We have it locked right now, but oh. but it is a, a space that's that goes underneath the entire lower bunk. Absolutely, yep. yeah. Cool, outside shower. So two outside showers on this coach, one in the front, on the front side of the trailer, one on the back side of the trailer, your city water, your fresh tank fill, um, and then a detachable power cord. Now, this might seem like a simple feature to many people, but I'll tell you what I really like about it. There's still so many trailers that have 25 feet of cable that you stuff into a little hole in the side of your trailer. So there's an actual like big void 
I, uh, it's incredibly wasted space. Yeah, it's yeah. a waste of space. Yeah. But also, if you've ever had to stuff uh, that cable into a trailer, it's a little bit of a nightmare. And I've also seen over time how that where that cable gets pulled out, it yeah. starts to break its connections as well. Yeah. So detachable short cord on this, insulated all the way around it as well. Yeah. So much better way to do it. And it's going to keep rodents and insects Absolutely. out of your trailer Absolutely, it's all well. sealed out, yeah. Yep. Perfect, here, follow us around the front side now and we'll talk a little bit more about the exterior before we jump inside. One of the cool new features that they just put on these Grey Wolves is they've actually enclosed the tanks now for you. So what that's going to do, of course, keeps things a little bit warmer around with the water sitting in this trailer. So if you want to go in that early spring or late fall style of camping, you're safe to do so and it'll protect your uh, your tanks as you're driving absolutely down roads yeah like yeah it keeps well. from should we debris. head inside yeah follow us in guys so first thing you're going to notice coming inside the trailer now you have an immense amount of space in here because now with this gray wolf floor plan you have what's called a super slide out in here so that gives you your u-shaped dinette you have your couch here which will also fold down into a bed same thing with the dinette one of the key features that you gain out of a gray wolf or even a cherokee travel trailer like this with the u-shaped dinettes is the amount of accessible storage for example we look underneath here we can pull this drawer out and it's actually 40 inches that goes right to the very back. So you're not having to worry about lifting that cushion up. You don't have a little small cabinet door here. It's a great usable space. And then of course on the topic of cabinets too, these are all solid wood construction. Yep. Like you've seen inside there, it's all plywood too, so. So here's what I'd like to take a, a moment to talk about as well. So we're, we've been a, a Cherokee Grey Wolf dealer since day one. So Range Lander has been a dealer of the Cherokee brand of product lines uh, for the last 20 years now. We've seen the evolution of the product. Um, we are always uh, talking to their designers um, and this year they were really excited to present their new decor package so nice light plankwood style floors great looking furnishings the dark espresso cabinetries with mm -hmm. the gold handle poles really sets it off the black stainless steel appliances and then one of the features that we love are the zebra blinds so these blinds are not only really uh easy to use they're yeah. easy to use but they're really cool so they're open they are like a day and night shade so if you want to filter some light but still have some privacy you can run them like that or if you want to black out completely you can run them like that so i know a lot of people want to have these in their homes and you can have it actually in your trailer so all of our uh, main windows in our cherokees and, and gray wolf products come with the zebra blinds this year. absolutely yeah and even on the topic of the windows too some things that you don't really see when you get into this category of trailer are the nicer small little fit and finish items for an example up above your windows you'll have that nice wood Wood box veiling uh, valence they actually give you a curtain on the side there so it really cleans up the looks all these little details do make a huge difference when you're in a trailer like this now on my right side here we got to touch base on this kitchen because this is amazing being that you're getting into a black label package on this 26 dbh floor plan a couple of things you're going to see is they've actually changed the countertop out to a solid surface countertop so this is like real granite you know, if you put down a hot uh, hot pan on here or drag a knife across it, you're not gonna be worried about hurting it. Just underneath that, you got that nice tub stainless sink that uh, Grey Wolf's always gone with there. And they have that beautiful black stainless too with the exposed edge. So it's a real residential, modern look to it. Of course, you got the pull out faucet in here too. And because of course we're in COVID times, what Cherokee's done is they've actually given you a little hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer dispenser here, which is cool. And then of course, hopefully when this all blows over, you can just use that as a soap pump. Now. Once we work our way back from that, you'll see you have this really, really nice uh, graystone grill here, or graystone cooktop. It's got a nice light where you can turn on here and light up the dials for you. And then of course, tempered glass cover with three burner cooktop and just underneath that, a glass front oven. Now there's a new touch that they just put on these, uh, these Grey Wolves here and you probably notice it right behind the stove. You actually have this very beautiful cutting board that comes with it. One last thing you gotta bring with you. And of course, it's got magnets on it too, so when you're ready to use it, you can simply fix it right down to the top of this stove. It's not going anywhere for you. And then when you're done with it, it just fits right back to the wall. One thing I really love about this trailer as well are all the cool things like the plates and glasses they give you and like the pictures of the <laughs> other family over there. I think it's amazing. Yeah. That you add yeah. a bowl of fake fruit. Like yeah. these guys absolutely think of everything. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's yeah. amazing. Interior decoration is not included. <laughs> <laughs> so as we move through this kitchen here, like we were talking about with that juice pack, one of the big influences of why they went with that solar on here is because of this new fridge. This is a 12 cu or sorry, a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. And how they were able to make this bigger and keep it in the same space is being that it's 12 volt, they took out all the compressors out of the back there. So it's a lot deeper now and plus it cools down 
like three or four times faster than a standard fridge. We've only had this trailer in here for about 15, 20 minutes and the fridge has been running. It's actually cold yeah. in here. You can feel it. You know another feature that people don't think about as well is so anything, any of your gas absorbs in fridges, you need to, they create a lot of heat. You need to vent them out the roof and out the side of the trailer. So there's two additional areas that seals need to be maintained. Exactly. Two potential areas of water, water infiltration. That fridge vents from the through the front, so we don't need to cut holes in the trailer to vent that fridge out. So just another great way to protect your investment as well. Absolutely. Um, double over double bunks or double oversized bunks, mm -hmm. teddy bear mattresses. But another thing too, I guarantee you when you're shopping, you're gonna see lots of trailers. This floor plan is gonna be, um, if, if you're if you're a manufacturer and you're not making this floor plan, you're missing the boat. Um, but yeah, well, I mean, this is the most popular trailer it is. It's on, such on the market a right now. Yeah. Trailer. But having things like a built-in ladder is something that you just don't find in other trailers. So Absolutely. you have a nice ladder. It's safe for the kids to go up and down. We see kids going up and down them all the time, and it works out terrific. Right? Yeah. While you're inside those bunks too, you'll notice they got the USB plugins. They got actual plugins above too, because nowadays every kid's got cell phone, tablets, things like that that they're maybe bringing with them camping. So, and of course they each have a window, so you don't have to necessarily pick who's your favorite child. Now, just before we jump into the bathroom there, one of the big things that we get complimented on a lot with yeah. the 26 DBH is the absolute massive pantry in here. And it's got a real door on it too. So works great. You're going to be able to pack as much food as you possibly need for your camping trip in here. And then I'll let Jason take you guys into the bathroom now. So I won't take a lot of time, but I'll show you the, the, the again, very well appointed trailer. So key features, a foot flush toilet, an actual tub surround. Many trailers are just going to put a wall board into that a shower area so when it gets wet when you get out of your shower you're gonna have to dry your walls off we have a high performance fantastic fan up here that moves 900 cubic feet of air per minute and if you like to dry camp it actually runs off 12 volts so you can cool your trailer down by using that they're incredibly effective i love as well that they have a massive like like the same size sink as you would find at home so when you're washing your hands when the kids are brushing their teeth there's actually a place uh to Put their spit their toothpaste back <laughs> into and it's yeah. not going all over the counter huge medicine cabinet that's al by the way everybody that's al <laughs> and and then some additional storage underneath the sink as well so full well appointed um bathroom as well with that again that door to the outside so you can quickly escape yeah from the trailer. huge huge feature yep so now as we work our way back to the front guys a couple things that we're going to touch base on before we wrap up here of course this is where that driven audio system is that we talked about just underneath that they added in this really nice blue accent lighting you may have noticed it even above the slide out there too um, so it really again cleans that look up and then of course to top it all off right underneath that you have your fireplace this is a 5100 uh, 5100 BTU yep. electric heater too so this will heat up a 400 square feet of, of your trailer within 15 minutes of just running it yeah, off electricity just a regular cool evening you wouldn't even have to turn on your furnace no exactly it's perfect yep. and then of course right behind that you're gonna have your bedroom here you know pretty simple stuff but what we like to talk about in here of course is the storage around it so you'll actually have wardrobes that are deep enough to use and then of course up above that you have some extra cabinetry a lot of manufacturers in this category of trailer they just put a shelf in here which is not a great usable space and then of course to top it all off they give you solid sliding doors here or pocket doors is what you like to call Call it instead of a curtain or yep. just something simple like that that you usually see in a, in a category and of this then if i can I just have one more thing yeah so when of we course go to the black label package we go to an upgraded bedding package which is an actual pillow top mattress so you get some extra luxury uh features in the yeah. trailer i believe it's a uh, padded mattress too they actually put a little bit of a thicker mattress in there yep, too with yeah. the pillow top yeah yeah absolutely so that pretty much wraps it up here, guys, for this 26 DBH Black Label Edition. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to us uh, through our website or even uh, give us a call. Ask us about our RV show pricing on right now. And of course, I'm Ty, the RV guy. And I'm Jason, but down in the corner over there is that subscribe button to the YouTube channel. Make Absolutely. sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, we love to make videos for our viewers and so get a really good idea of what you guys are interested in before you come out and visit us. Thanks for watching and happy camping. Hey guys, Mitch here from Rangeland RV, and I am inside the all new 2021 Cherokee 274 BRB BL for Black Label. I'm here with.
Do you know where? Does anyone know where Ty is? Ty, is he downstairs? I think he is. Hold on. Ty, are you ready? Oh, there you are. It's kind of cold down there. Yeah. I'm Mitch from Range RV, and I'm standing here with. Hi, I'm Ty, the RV guy. Perfect. So we are going to go over some amazing features on this coach and the all-new Cherokee product here today. Yeah, let's dive right into it. So, standing here in the living room with this uh, 274 BRB, you're going to notice one of the really cool things about this main area is you actually have a sitting area right across from your dinette. This is, makes the floor plan pretty unique because most bunk models like this, you generally have a dinette and a couch, but now you have a beautiful entertaining space mm -hmm. with some big cross windows too, so you can actually see out both areas of your trailer. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So as you can see here, tons of sleeping accommodations. You got a jackknife sofa right here with a king U-shape dinette inside the slide. They do give you these beautiful 42 inch dinette drawers, full size, so you don't have to lift up that awkward piece of wood, the cushion to reach your stuff under there. They do also feature the all new zebra blinds inside this coach. These things are incredible. Um, they do they do give you the chance to have some lighter shade or full blackout and then you can just completely close it if you want Yeah, it's a really nice touch that Cherokee added to the trailer um, Even like for the little details that you have in here for an example You got wood valences over top of it You got some curtains on the side and the reason why we like to talk about that is that's actually kind of a special feature to see in a Traditional built travel trailer like this that's correct another big thing being that Mitch mentioned This is the black label edition what you're gonna firstly notice in the kitchen here is you actually got a solid surface countertop. So this is actually like a real piece of granite. Yeah. It's really nice. You'll have a big uh, st a tub stainless sink here. And then just above that, you're gonna have the nice sprayer faucet all the way around. I love how they did the black stainless steel. That is really in this year. And a lot of people are changing that color to all their appliances in their house. Absolutely, yeah, no, for sure. And then of course, another little touch, because of course we're in COVID times, they added in a little hand sanitizer pump here. This also works really great for if you wanted to change it into a soap for hopefully when this COVID stuff is all over. Over. Now, right behind us here, we also have the beautiful Greystone grill. Of course, with this, you have the three burner cooktop. You have some really nice blue lighting around your dials there and a beautiful glass front to your oven too. Now, a cool new touch that they just put in these uh, Cherokees here is of course, yeah, you have your nice uh, glass cover that goes over top. But hey, Mitch, if you're looking for a cutting board, I got one for you right here. Right? Yeah, it's super cool. Perfect. And look at that magnets on the other side and you have the metal right here. Your cutting board is not going anywhere. It's nice and sturdy. Showed that to a client today. He absolutely loved it right after he bought it. So, if you look back here, they do feature a double over double bunk. Each bunk actually has their own window, so you don't have to pick your favorite kit anymore. They, offer, <laughs> they also feature the teddy bear mattress, one of the thickest, softest mattresses in the industry. So you're gonna, your kids are gonna get that beautiful night's sleep. And then you do have the hidden uh, ladder, the wooden ladder right there, so the kids can climb up. Yeah. And then right behind Ty is going to be your walk-in pantry. Check this out. It's really not a basement in case you really thought it was. <laughs> it's not. It's actually a, a recessed uh, shelved pantry where you can put your uh, broom in there, you can put all your dry goods, your food, your, you know, and anything, anything, yeah. Anything. There's yeah. tons of storage in there. Yeah, grandma. Like I mean, right? it's, yeah. There's tons of space. <laughs> Another thing too they feature on this coast is not only does it have the all new juice pack with the 50 watt solar panel, battery disconnect, and also your battery voltage regulator meter. Um, what it does have is it does have the uh, all new 12 volt. Yeah, 12 volt refrigerator. Size. This is a 10 cubic foot fridge. Sorry, I'm still hung foot. up on that battery gauge. Um, this is a new 12 volt fridge here and it's 10 cubic feet. So what you would standardly see in most of the older Cherokees or a lot of products that compare with this is a six cubic foot fridge. Yeah. And the reason how they were able to make this a lot bigger is by taking out those options like say gas and uh, electric and now they've been able to extend it back and it cools down three times faster. I think it's like 45 minutes and you have this trailer. 45 minutes and you have this thing. It's the temperature, like right? For a day. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough on this fridge. Let's move Move on check out this bathroom here guys one of the really cool things that you'll see jumping in here is of course you have a little half tub it even has a plastic shower surround in there too so when you do shower you're not wrecking any of the wallpaper in behind there beautiful skylight nice high faucet there too and then of course right beside me here you're gonna have a beautiful vanity again they continue that nice uh, that nice seamless countertop in here so you're not worried about water wrecking it they strategically place all of your storage in the corner here so it makes it a lot deeper and then of course last but not least up in the ceiling what is that Mitch oh, don't turn that on Ty 
That might suck us all up to the ceiling. Absolutely. That is a fantastic fan. And that fantastic fan is so fantastic that it can suck out 900 cubic square feet of hot air out of this trailer in under a minute. That's a lot the of air. Other thing I wanted to show you guys here today too is what we are actually featuring is the new espresso color cabinets. They're gorgeous. I've had a lot of great feedback. And you almost have a nickel brush, uh, gla uh, gold slash bronze all together. They're gorgeous. Absolutely. One Endless. of the really cool features while we're in this main area too that we're going to tell you about is the new sound system in here. Yes. So what you're going to have is uh, Cherokee has gone to the new driven audio system. Right. And what this does is it gives you beautiful outside speakers, inside speakers, but they've even added a subwoofer up into the ceiling there, which is amazing. So now you're going to have premium audio right down at the campsite. Your neighbors might not like you, but you'll love your trailer. All right. Another thing too, they do feature the backlit inside of the... Um, Entertainment section yeah. where they have the additional storage and then the glass pane inside of it. But underneath it also for those little cold uh, fall days, you are going to get that beautiful uh, fireplace. And Ty, what does that fireplace do for us? This is an amazing electric heater, guys. So what this is is a 5100 BTU electric dry heater. And that will actually heat up about 400 square feet in 15 minutes time. This is a beautiful way for warming your trailer up along with the furnace in here too. And speaking of the furnace, one of the big highlights you gain out of Cherokee is this actually actually has a completely floor ducted furnace. Yeah. And when I say that, that means that you're gonna have a vent in every single room of this trailer, so you're gonna have proper even heating. Same thing with your air conditioner. We got a 13 and a half thousand BTU air conditioner in here, which is completely ducted throughout. So again, your climate control is gonna be perfect. Yeah. Now, you asked, we listened, you finally get a bedroom that nobody has to squeeze around or go through their own cubby hole. So come on in, follow us in through here. Go ahead, Mitch. Just let me squeeze in. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's actually very spacious in here. Come on in, guys. Now lie down on the bed. <laughs> right? Awesome. So, first thing you're going to notice inside the bedroom is the additional uh, extra storage in here. Everybody loves this feature. You can store additional clothes in here, towels, whatever you need. There's a lot of different shelves and storage. Then you also have, um, right over here, you have the um, additional... Uh, cabinets above the bed as well. You can hang uh, shirts, coats, everything. Absolutely. It's a really nice feature to have, especially with those cabinets up above there because lots of manufacturers like to just put that shelf into place. And of course, just underneath this mattress too, you're going to have a plenty of storage there. So if you lift that bed up there, you'll notice there's actually a ton of storage in here and that connects right out to the outside compartment. That's why we're able to see some light in there. Now, before we jump outside, there's a really cool feature that I want to touch on um, and that's right on your control panel here. So what Cherokee has actually introduced is called the One Control System. System. And this is a beautiful system because now what you can do is pair your phone right to this device here, which is your main control panel. And what that's going to allow you to do is you can operate your slide outs, you can operate your awnings and even your lights right off of your cell phone. And even your stereo system here is fully capable for running through your, um, your cell phone device. Let's jump outside here. As we're walking down the steps, you're going to notice these are nice and sturdy. You have a beautiful support here and Mitch is gonna tell you a little bit more about them. Absolutely, so this here's Cherokee features. Um, the Moride steps, they are a lot sturdier than your traditional travel trailer um, type of stair. Absolutely. The nice part about them too is they do fold up so you're not gonna have them exposed to all of the elements over the winter. They're not gonna rust. You're not gonna have to sit there and spray 15 to 20 minutes worth of WD-40 on them. Yeah. They're gonna work perfect for you every time. Another little feature that they added this year too is you have the chance with the adjustable legs that you can push the pin in. So if you have that uneven ground, on your campsite you can adjust them super easy yeah yeah it's a great step for sure another cool feature that you have talking about the door here yeah. is a full glass pane this is brand new for Cherokee you're gonna get it on the standard Cherokee and the black label here too and it's nice they do a really beautiful decal across the bottom there so everyone knows you got the nice Cherokee black label edition Talking a little bit more about that black label edition, what you'll notice now that we're on the outside is this is a complete fiberglass coach. This is actually a true gel coat that they put on here too. So that's a big, big upgrade. Again, you'll notice the windows have changed compared to the older Cherokees and this is a complete bonded frameless window. So they're deep tinted too, so a little bit more private and we'll keep the heat out. Let's have a look at the front here while we're on topic with the black label. This is a beautiful option that you have with the black label package and it's called your fiberglass front cap. Yeah. So 
What's the big benefits of a fiberglass front cap, Mitch? The main advantage when you have that fiberglass front cap is that it goes over top of the front roof seal. If you are going to make down the road, if you're going to have a leak in a trailer, I've seen it time and time again, that's where it's going to be. Absolutely. The nice part about the fiberglass cap is it covers over top of it and it reduces any type of water damage quite quite a bit. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very nice. Yeah. Another thing too it features is that power tongue jack, right? Take it off the back of your truck nice and easy with the touch of a button. It does come equipped with two 20 pound propane tanks. If you're purchasing it from Rangeland, we're gonna fill them up for you. And then you do have room to put either two six volt batteries if you want, or you can do the 112 volt, but there's tons of room in there. Let's take you up back front and we'll go through some. I, I wanted to show them a couple things on this side actually here. Yeah, so while we're on this side of the trailer, just quickly, let's touch on the outside shower here, of course, that you're gonna see on all Cherokees. You got your fresh water connection, your city water connection, and your six gallon quick recovery hot water tank. Um, and then as we work our way over here, a couple of the big upgrades, because we both know now that, of course, you have the option of either choosing a Grey Wolf or stepping up into a Cherokee. Some of the big upgrades that you see out of a Cherokee here is now the slide out. This is a full rack and pinion slide. So this is a nice heavy duty slide out. It's flush floor inside there, so it gives you a lot of extra height inside, bigger windows, and it's just an easier system overall to run. Now, underneath too, you'll notice that this trailer has a ton of height. And the reason why is because at the factory, Cherokee flips the axles there for you to give you that extra ground clearance so you're not worried about scraping anything along the ground. What a beaut, Ty. Absolutely. Let's head around to the front now. Absolutely. So come around, walk with me, talk with me. Let me show you some cool stuff that Cherokee features on the front. So. Not only does it look sharp with the glass and the, the, um, <clears throat> the frameless windows, you are going to get lit up to um, outside speakers. Three, yeah, there you go. <laughs> with a blue LED light, a nice size awning that's going to come right over, give you lots of shade. And then check out this outside kitchen. This is not common in this type of category with most comparables in the market, but they're going to give you the um, stovetop. Um, yeah, it's a nice two burner stove top. It's awesome. It, right, small mini fridge, ice cube maker, outside shower, a sink. A lot of my clients are putting ice in here so the drinks are nice and cold as well. Um, I mean, you do have the ice maker. <laughs> favorite feature. If you have kids, this will keep them by the trailer. I promise you. I'm just kidding. This is actually a leash latch. It's great. You can hook your dogs on it and they're not going anywhere, they're not gonna pull the trailer. It does say on the sticker, and always remember, just make sure that you take them off of that leash latch before you're moving your coach. And have them spayed and neutered, right? Absolutely. And have your pets spayed and neutered. <laughs> now, you also do get a flip down rack. These are awesome. I have a lot of clients that put firewood on there, a generator on there. Once you get there and you park, you can flip it down, put the kids' bikes on there. Ty, what else do we have on this coach in the back? Yeah, I mean, well, looking at the back here, like you mentioned, the flip down travel rack's great. Up above that, you're gonna have your pre-wire for a backup camera. And then of course, you're gonna notice all LED lighting around the backside here now. So this is great because you're not worrying about those incandescent bulbs burning out over the years like they always used to, right? So this is one less thing you gotta worry about. Let's go up to the front here. Um, as we work our way back to the front, you're gonna notice there's a black tank flush on the side of this trailer. For those of you who are not familiar with what this does, you can hook a garden hose right up to that fitting and it's like a dishwasher for your sewer tank. It just completely soaks everything down, rinses it out, so you're not getting that breath of fresh air when you flush your toilet. You got it. Absolutely. Yummy. I think that pretty much covers it. Perfect. Tell so, me a joke before you go, camping joke. Tell us some more. <laughs> what about the fish? Yes. Oh yeah, um, why, did the fl why did the fish blush? Because it's seen the lake's bottom. Oh. <laughs> How do you communicate with a fish? <laughs> fresh? A fish. <laughs> I don't know. Drop them a line. Ah, there you go. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up today. Thanks for watching. This is uh, Ty, the RV guy. And I'm Big Mitch P with Rangeland RV. Thanks for watching and happy, happy camping. camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Surveyor Legend 240 BHLE. 
First thing we want to jump into, of course, on this particular trailer is the overall length and weight. So when you start looking from pin to bumper on here, you're looking at 25 feet and 11 inches to be exact. And of course, the dry weight of this trailer is roughly around that 5,400 pounds dry. So this is perfect if you have that real large SUV or a half ton truck. Some of the things that we also really like to talk about on a surveyor here is, of course, the construction and how they're built. This trailer is a complete aluminum framed um, block foam insulated trailer. So, of course, that keeps you a lot lighter and the structure is going to be sounder than ever. Um, as we look at the front here, I want to talk a couple of features too while we're on the outside. So, looking at the front, you have this massive pass through storage compartment. And again, you can see just above that all that really nice aluminum framing. There's some little touches that uh, Surveyor does that are pretty cool. For an example, you may have seen that light turn on and off. There's a motion sensor light in here for you. And they even give you this little tool here to go into your power drill, which helps you actually raise and lower the jacks on your trailer. So again, those little touches make a big difference in your trailer. While we're looking at this storage too, one of the things I like to talk about are these awesome slam latch ba uh, baggage doors. These are a full metal slam latch here and it's a deadbolt lock in there. So it's going to be the same key that you use to open your main storage door, not that small little key that every trailer owner in the world has. Um, just above that, you're also going to have a nice little magnet to hold your doors open. So again, you're not breaking those plastic little clips off in the winter or of course just over the years of use. Now while we're looking at the front here, um, one of the a couple of things I want to talk about, of course, you have a power tongue jack with a uh, light switch on here. So if you're hooking up at the nighttime, you can always see what you're doing. Plus it's easier just to get it up and down. Um, right behind that, you have two 20 pound propane tanks. And of course, enough space for a dual battery setup if you chose to do so, or if you choose to do so. Um, now there is another little feature here, which is really nice. You may see that little red box there. That's actually a battery disconnect switch that they put on here for you. And the nice convenient thing with that is, is you don't have to necessarily take your batteries off your trailer when you're done using it. You can simply swip, uh, switch it to the off position and it keeps that power drain from draining your batteries on you. Just above that, you have a nice frameless windshield here. This is really cool. It cleans the look up of the trailer, but it's also an automotive glass too. So if you have a rock that somehow gets up that high and hits it, it's always repairable on your trailer. Now, as we work our way around here, you have that really nice checker plating on the front. You'll have your six gallon quick recovery hot water tank and of course your other entry door. One of the things that we have to talk about too with a surveyor is again going into detail in that construction. Right here you actually have a full bonded sidewall in the, in the actual slide out itself and around the backside too. So this trailer is completely bonded all the way around. It's a very, very nice solid build to it. Now follow me around this way. We'll talk about some other uh, really cool features on the exterior before we jump inside. Um, just beside me here, you're going to have all your hookups for cable and satellite, which is really neat. Um, you're going to have your water connection here and a black tank flush. If you're not familiar with what a black tank flush does, you can simply hook a garden hose directly up to this uh, little inlet here and it rinses out the entire sewer system of your trailer so that you're getting a really nice clean and you're not necessarily seeing that build up on the anodes or you're not getting that breath of fresh air when you go and flush that toilet. You have a detachable power cord here and then of course now that we're at the back of the trailer you'll see surveyor right from the factory here has introduced a flip down travel rack. This is awesome because it gives you that extra storage space again for generators, firewood, um, coolers, you name it, bikes even if you want. And I believe this one would probably carry up to about 150 pounds with the spare tire still on. Just above that, you're pre-wired for a backup camera and we carry those at Rangeland too so you can equip yourself with one. And then of course a ladder to get up onto your fully walkable roof. Now there is some really cool things about this roof too. If you do jump up on top of there, you will notice this trailer comes with a solar panel for you so you're already rigged up with something like that that you don't have to purchase now. As we work our way around the uh, back to the front side of the trailer, you'll notice as, as you're looking far away, it's got a massive awning on this trailer and that's a full power awning. So you simply push a button, it's going to stretch it out for you and you got that beautiful white LED light strip that runs across it. Just below that, you have your outside speakers here and of course those are backlit too to give you that more modern look to your trailer. This is probably one of the biggest features though on this trailer is the beautiful outside kitchen. So what you're gonna have here, of course, outside fridge, and then right beside that, you have the really nice suburban cast iron cooktop. And then you have a little pullout just beside it here. And there's actually a sink basin that sits down in here. We just didn't have it set up today. And right behind that, you'll have a water fill connection there for it too. So it's great. You get all three atmospheres um, or all three points of an outside kitchen right here for you. Um, 
As we work our way through, you'll notice all the windows on the exterior um, are tinted, so it keeps it a lot more private on the inside of your trailer, but it also helps keep that heat out. And now that we're at the door, first things you're gonna see too is with this door, it's a friction hinge. So this carries up to a 25 kilometer an hour wind. So you're not gonna be worried about your door flapping around in the wind or anything like that. And it keeps you from breaking the plastic clips off the back. Plus, just underneath this door, you have the really nice Moride entry steps. These are so simple to use, you can simply pick them right up and they go right inside the trailer and clip in place. And the reason why they do this is because it saves you from having those pull-out steps here get rusted out full of gravel and very hard to use. And then of course, when you're ready to set these up, you release the pin, you pull them out. They have adjustable legs on either side here by just pushing these buttons in here. So if you're on that uneven ground, you can always get that nice stable entry. Now before we go inside the trailer, there's one key component that we have to talk about with construction for this surveyor, and that's the Asdell wallboard construction. This is great because this trailer is a two inch wall, and then just in front of that insulation, they use Asdell, which is a composite wallboard. It's a lot better than the old Luon wood board that they used to use because this is a lot lighter now. It actually adds insulation value too. It's moisture wicking, so it helps keep that water out, plus it's environmentally friendly. So let's head inside now and check about some of the really cool features here. So first thing you're gonna notice coming inside here, a lot of space. There's a very cool feature right at the front of the trailer and that's called your Murphy bed system. So with a Murphy bed, this is really the only way that you can get a the big dinette, a couch and a walk around bed in a trailer that's only 25 feet long. I'll show you how it works now. It's very simple, you just lift up on the couch here and like you can see there's actually some drawers underneath here too so you have a lot of additional storage underneath here and it's full ball bearing extension drawer glides also. <clears throat> Once we get this flat, it's a simple pin that releases the, uh, the mattress here. This will fold down into place and voila, you have yourself a bed. It's a very comfortable bed too. Like you can see, it's walk around. You'll even have some storage space on either side with some cup holders. And they have a little hole there where you can actually run some power up into, uh, plug your phones in and that kind of stuff too. Just on the sides of the bed, once we put this up again, see how easy that was? So simple. We can simply put this up and boom, you back to a couch. But like I was mentioning on the sides of the bed here, you're each gonna have two plugins and you'll also have two USB chargers too because nowadays everyone's got a cell phone or a tablet so you gotta have a way to charge that stuff. Down beside it, you got some extra drawers here too. And I can't stress enough to the, uh, the quality construction on these little materials, right? Ball bearing extension drawer glides, solid wood on the inside and solid uh, wood on the outside too, which is really, really nice. Um, in beside it here, you're also gonna have wardrobes on either side which are plenty deep enough so you can hang some jackets and coats and things like that. Um, while we're in the main area here, I do want to show you just up on the wall here, you'll have your Furion, uh, your Furion stereo system. And this is of course Bluetooth capable, it's AM, FM. Um, you can even hook a uh, HDMI cable in there for you too. So if you wanted to put a Blu-ray player or an Xbox or something like that, you name it, you can set it up ready to go. And just above that, you'll have your solar controller for you here too. Let's start working our way through the rest of the trailer. So looking at the slide out, First thing I like to point out, I'm about six feet tall. And if I stand in here, my head is nowhere near the ceiling of that slide. There is a ton of space in here. And with that, you get lots of big windows. And of course, talking about the windows too, in all the surveyors, you have these really nice pleated shades that come down. So you're not looking at those cheaper tin blinds um, that you may see in other models. With this dinette, you can also break it down into a very big bed. And then on either side, you have some cabinets for some extra storage to reach down underneath here. <clears throat> now, jumping across to the kitchen here, I love what they've done with it. You have an actual uh, seamless press countertop here. So this is way better than that uh, T-mold material you might see that starts to peel over the years of use. And then they actually recess the sink into the countertop here and they have a nice tub stainless sink in here. And it's, you know, it's a lot better sometimes than having a split because if you do have that big uh, pot or pan that you're trying to do your dishes with, um, you have that space to fit it in here. Of course, high rise stainless faucet and right beside that, you're gonna have this beautiful graystone grill. So you have the nice blue lighting here to really clean the look up. It's got a glass front to it. And then just above that, you also have a three burner cooktop with a cast iron grill top on there too. So it looks really nice. Plus you got the, uh, the uh, tempered glass cover to give you maximized amount of space in your kitchen here. Now, right behind me, you notice this fridge. 
This is a very, very large fridge. This is actually an eight cubic foot gas and electric fridge that they put in here for you. So much larger than the standard six that you see in most trailers. And of course a nice large uh, freezer above that too. To finish off the kitchen here, you'll have a, a range hood, which is super nice if you're cooking in here to get all that smell out, and then a microwave up above that. Now, as we work our way from the kitchen into the back of the trailer, you'll have these beautiful double over double bunks. These are massive bunk beds. They're also teddy bear mattresses too, so they're super soft for the kids, very comfortable, very warm. They each have their own light in their bunks too. And again, you're gonna have USB chargers in both the bunks. So again, if the kids have phones or tablets and things like that, you know, there's a way for them to charge their, uh, their little items. Now, just across from the bunks here, You'll also have this amazing storage space for more than likely you could use this space as a pantry. And one of the things I like to note here while we have this cabinet door open is you'll see some hidden hinge construction when it comes to their cabinet doors. This is really nice, cleans the look up the trailer, gives it a much more residential finish. <clears throat> and last but not least with this guy, you'll have a beautiful bathroom. I'll let you jump inside there and have a look around. First thing you notice is that is a porcelain toilet in here too, so it's gonna be much easier to keep clean and it's gonna last the full life of the trailer. Big stand-up shower there, so you got a nice plastic surround, so it gives you that, uh, that plenty of space that you need, plus it's keeping the water from actually damaging the walls. And then the shower curtain is great too. You actually have a full pull-across shower curtain, so it's actually a solid curtain too, so it keeps the water in. And then of course, your sink basin here and your medicine cabinet. One of the little touches that I love that they just did with this medicine cabinet is they actually gave you a little toothbrush holder. I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but those little details in a trailer make a world of difference and it just hides away once you're done with it. Um, now, one of the big features too that you'll see in this bathroom is they have your monitoring panel here, but right beside it, you have three switches for your fresh gray and black tank. And this is actually a tank heater system. So what Surveyor has done for you at the factory is they've enclosed this underbelly and they've added 12 volt heat pads to all the tanks. Super nice feature. If you're the type of camper that likes to go out into the early spring or late fall and enjoy your trailer for as long as possible in that short camping season we have. That pretty much wraps up this Surveyor here today, guys. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to us at the dealership. Give us a call or you can even contact me. I'm Tyler and my email is tyler at rangelandrv.com. Make sure you call us about our RV show pricing on right now. Thanks again for watching and happy camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Heritage Glen 29 XBHL. First thing I wanna jump into right off the bat with this floor plan is the overall length and weight here. So what we're looking at is quite a big trailer. This is actually 37 feet long from pin to bumper and you're looking roughly around 7,200 pounds dry. So our big recommendation for somebody that is interested in something like this, you're probably gonna to wanna to be pulling with something maybe a little bit bigger than a half ton or at least a heavy duty half ton at that. Now let's jump into a bit of the construction here with Heritage Glen because they do some really cool additions to their uh, style of construction. First off, this is a vacuum bonded trailer. And if you're not familiar with what vacuum bonding is, that's gonna give you an aluminum structure in behind your walls and block foam insulation, which is completely pressed together. It's a very, very, it's a very high quality finish to your construction and it's one of the best ways you can put together a fiberglass wall. The other thing that's very unique is when we look at the flooring inside of Heritage Glen. The same way that they build their exterior walls, the same way that they build their flooring. It's a complete bonded floor and the big benefits with that is it gives you extra insulation to keep that floor warm. Another added feature that when we're talking about construction here is the enclosed underbelly. This trailer has a fully insulated enclosed underbelly with 12 volt heat pads on all of your tanks. So if you're the type of camper that likes to go out into that early spring or late fall style of camping, you're set to go with this. So let's jump across to the front of the trailer here and we'll work our way around. First thing that you'll notice when we're up at the front here is this massive pass-through storage compartment. And another example too of the style of construction you get out of here is you can see all of that exposed aluminum framing. Looks very, very nicely well done in here. And like you can see, there is a ton of space in here. 
Little additions that I always like to point out too, is if we look at our storage door here, you'll actually have magnetic latches here. This is a nice little detail because over the years of use, if your trailer has the plastic clips, those always tend to break over the years. Another nice addition is you'll see just below this big sticker here, which gives you some really cool features on the trailer, is this nice slam entry door uh, for your storage compartment. These are really nice because they actually are deadbolt keyed, so no one with that little tiny silver key can get into your storage compartments and uh, get access to your things. Plus, it's a simple slam to close the door for you. As we move, move, uh, move our way throughout, you'll notice you'll have four corner stabilization jacks here and a nice big power awning behind me. But let's keep moving forward. So as we go up to the front side of the trailer here, one of the big construction features on this Heritage Glen is this big fiberglass painted cap. One of the big benefits that you do get out of this is it covers the main roof seal on the top of the trailer. So that's eliminating the chances of having water seeping into the front cap of the trailer and it causing delamination, which are those bubbles that you sometimes see. Now, it's also really nicely appointed with this LED light strip here so it cleans that look up again. You have two 20 pound propane tanks on the front of the trailer also, and you'll even have a power tongue jack here. Follow me around this way and we'll continue talking about some of these cool exterior features. So again, you're gonna have the other entrance to your pass-through storage compartment, and you'll also have an outside hot and cold shower here. This is a nice little feature, for an example, if you have pets or kids, you know, you can, kids come back from the beach, you can spray the sand off of them, or even if you wanna surprise the neighbors in the morning, you do your thing. Now, just beside it here, you'll have a full docking station is what we like to call it. This is really cool because it has a fresh water connection to fill your tank, a city water connection that goes directly to the actual water pump and a black tank flush. For those who aren't familiar with a black tank flush, this is something that is a big uh, spray port directly inside your sewer tank. So that allows you to completely rinse down the entire system so you're not getting that gum buildup on your anodes or you're not getting the smell back inside the trailer. Let's work our way back to the front side now and we'll talk a little bit about the cool features on the exterior. <clears throat> so as I mentioned before, in this particular floor plan, floor plan from Heritage Glen, you have a beautiful awning that stretches long way out and you'll also have the nice LED light strip there. Just below that, you're gonna have some outside speakers which are also backlit with blue LEDs to again give you that really nice modern look to your trailer. But probably one of the biggest features that you do have underneath this awning is the outside kitchen here. This is really, really cool. We can simply open this up like so, and you'll have an outside fridge here. And just below that, you'll have your pull-out cooktop. As you may have noticed, inside that fridge, there's actually a little water hose in there. And that's gonna be able to hook up to your outside spray port, which is just on my right or uh, left side here. And you also have a gas connection for your stove, which is just located underneath the, uh, the frame of the trailer there. Now, one little thing that I do want to touch on before we jump inside this trailer is the style of axles that you have on this particular trailer. This is called the wide stance suspension system. One of the big things that you gain out of this Heritage Glen with this style of setup is it gives you a lot smoother towing when you're going down the highway. Plus when you're inside your campsite, it actually gives you a more level um, ground essentially, right? So you bring down all your jacks and with that spacing of the tires, it's nice and sturdy once you're standing inside your trailer. As we make our way to the back here, there's a couple cool little features that you do get out of this Heritage Glen. For an example, this massive oversized grab handle, not something you see in a whole lot of travel trailers, plus your more ride steps. These are super cool because they flip right up inside the trailer like so, and they keep from getting dirty and rusted out over the years like you may have seen with a lot of the other pullout steps. Plus, you do have adjustability on either side of this step too, so if you're on that uneven ground, it's very easy getting in and out of your trailer. Heritage Glen also gives you a wider door too to get inside of here. So let's go inside and have a look at some of the features. So first thing you'll notice coming inside the door here, I wanna show you this awesome pantry and this really, really cool coat closet. So simply open the door up there. It's actually got a motion sensor light. So as soon as you open that door, it kicks the light on for you. And this is a lot of things that we get asked about um, from our customers is, you know, where do we hang up coats or where's the pantry and things like that. It's nice having it right by the door. Now, right behind me is probably one of the coolest bunk rooms that I've ever seen inside a travel trailer. Follow me back here. So what Heritage Glen has done is they've given you what's called a queen style bunk. You'll have two flip down here and it's very easy to set up. Let me show you how it's done. So you can see with this couch here, you'll actually just grab the back of this couch. It folds down into place. You can jump up on here. 
the big mattress folds down. Let me pull this right over top of itself. And boom, you have a massive bunk here. This, the, the top bunks are very, very simple to set up. It's just a simple pull down. They're on a gas strut there. So you'll have a bunk here and a bunk across. So if you have four kids, you have plenty of sleeping space in here. It's also got a sliding door. And to top it all off, you even have a massive pack and play storage door in here because there's no slide out in here. So if you wanna put the kids' bikes or you name it, there is plenty of storage. Now follow me into the main area here. First thing I wanna talk about now that we're looking at the main area of the trailer is the entertainment unit. This is a great spot for a large TV that you can add into here. And just below that, you'll have your Jensen stereo unit, which is Bluetooth capable, it's AM FM capable, and of course it's a CD and DVD player. Just underneath that, you're gonna have your electric fireplace. This is very, very cool. It actually works as an electric dry heater too that puts out 5,100 BTUs of heat. So again, if you're that style of camper that likes to camp in the early spring or late fall, you have another version of heating up this trailer. As we work our way through, you'll see this beautiful kitchen. So what you're gonna gain out of this fridge here is this is an eight cubic foot gas and electric fridge. A lot of trailers in this size, you usually only see about a six. So now what you're gaining out of this is an extra drawer in here, or a shelf I should say, and of course your separated freezer. So it's a beautiful size fridge. As we work our way through the rest of the kitchen, you'll have a nice microwave, three burner cooktop, and this is the brand new Furion cooktop too. This is a really cool black stainless look to it. So you're gonna have this nice glass door here with the blue lights. Of course, you'll have a light inside of here also. And then just underneath that, they give you the nice big sliding drawer. One thing I wanna point out too while we're looking at the drawers and cabinets in here is you have full ball bearing extension, drawer glides, and plywood interiors. So the fit and finish is very nice. And again, on top of that fit and finish too, if we look at the countertop in here, this is a seamless press membrane. So a lot of trailers, what you may see is a team old style countertop and that stuff's no good because over the couple of years, it's gonna start to come apart. Something like this, you're not gonna see that. Now on my right side here in this big super slide, you have a beautiful U-shaped dinette and you'll also have a pullout sofa here, which is really cool. So again, just more additional sleeping space. Another thing that I wanna to touch base on while we're looking in this slide is check out these windows, guys. These are huge windows. So you're gonna have a big panoramic view in here. You're also gonna have these really nice pull down roller shades. So these are great for blocking out all the light and keeping the privacy or the heat out of side of the trailer. Now, underneath your dinette too, you're gonna to notice there's some extra, uh, extra storage here. This opens up really, really nice. So you're not having to lift up these cushions to access all of this extra storage inside your trailer. Now follow me, we'll go check out the actual bathroom here and then finish off with the bedroom. But first of all, while we're inside this bathroom, look at the amount of space that I have in here. This pass-through bathroom is great because it gives you a ton of storage and of course it gives you a large shower. So while we're looking at the shower here, this is actually a full plastic shower surround so it helps keep your walls protected from the water. Plus it's actually got a really, really nice sliding shower door. It's a lot better than a lot of those like flimsy curtains you may see in, um, in a lot of other brands. Again, another good fit and finish feature that we like to talk about is the porcelain toilet in a Heritage Glen. Something like this is gonna be much easier to clean and they're gonna last the full life of the trailer. Now, I'll let you jump into the bedroom here and have a good look around. You'll have a bunch of storage all the way around the, the, uh, the bed here. And this is actually a nice full-size queen too. So you're gonna have a bunch of, uh, bunch of sleeping space. There's actually some plugins on either side. So if you have a CPAP machine or anything like that, you're equipped to do whatever style of camping you need to do. That pretty much wraps up the Heritage Glen here today, guys. Actually, wait a second. There's one feature I did miss. Um, just on top of the roof of this trailer, we didn't have a chance to show you today, but this trailer actually has a 50 watt solar panel right from factory. And through Heritage Glen, you have the option of going all the way up to a 500 watt if you wanted to. So let us know what kind of options you're wanting to go with that range line here. But again, that wraps up this Heritage Glen. I'm Ty the RV Guy. Make sure you give us a call and ask us about our RV show pricing. Thanks again for watching and happy camping. <laughs>
Hi guys, Mitch here from Rangeland RV, and I brought a new guest with me. I'm Cody from Rangeland RV. Perfect. Thanks for joining us guys. Today we're standing outside the all new 2021 Rockwood Signature 8336BH. So we're going to take you on a quick walkthrough today. First I want to start off with some specs on this trailer. So this comes in at an overall tip to tip length of 36 feet and 8 inches. We're sitting at just over 9400 pounds dry. So if you've got a 3 quarter ton truck uh, or bigger. Um, this you'll be able to tow this trailer no problem but when we go inside you'll also see that this is a fantastic floor plan if you've got a seasonal lot or a lake lot that you want to park a trailer at for the season this is an awesome floor plan to do that and we'll show you that when we go inside Mitch do you want to walk us through some features on or some construction on this rocket signature? absolutely so the the Rockwood product is a six-sided aluminum framed block foam insulated vacuum bonded trailer. They even take it all the way to every single wall. Their front cap, even their slides are vacuum bonded. So the structure and the integrity of the coach is extremely strong. Um, they do give you a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood that's glued down and screwed down. Most comparables in the market are going to be using OSB board or chipboard flooring which tends to get soft floors down the road. So it's definitely um, extremely well built with their quality. Um, let's talk about some exterior features on this coach and what Rockwood has to offer in this year's model. Do you want to talk about a couple things, Coach? Yeah, so I'm going to start you off right here. Let's, let's move to the front of this trailer here. So the first thing that you're going to see is a power front tongue jack. Mm -hmm. So it makes unhooking and, and hooking up super easy. Um, in the front corners here, you're going to see your stabilizer jacks. This has got an auto level system on it. So it's a four point auto right. level system. The big benefit of that is when you get to the campground, all you got to do is you got to unhook with your power tongue jack and you press one button and this trailer is going to auto level itself with those four stabilizer jacks. So it makes setting up a breeze. Um, up front here, you're going to see the fully molded fiberglass front cap with the automotive grade windshield in there. So that is automotive grade glass. So it will stand up over time, um, but it gives it a really nice look on the outside. Plus on the inside, it lets in a lot of daylight too. Mm -hmm. Let's walk around the side of the trailer here. Absolutely. Let's do it. So on the outside of the coach, first thing you'll notice here is uh, dual power awnings. And these are both metal wrapped awnings. So that's going to give you a lot of protection against um, A, the, the UV rays beating down on the awning fabric. In case you get caught in a hailstorm, that metal wrap is going to protect that awning fabric from you. They mount the second awning on the outside of this slide out. And the reason for that is because then the slide out's not taking up any of your awning space. So it gives you a lot of coverage out here for picnic tables, barbecues, anything like that that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Another nice feature on the Rockwood Signatures is your frameless windows. So A, these give it a really nice curb appeal. They look really good. They're tinted, um, but they're also louvered. So instead of your old sliding windows, these are louvered. So they open out so that if, if it is raining and you're stuck inside the trailer, you can still open these windows without getting a bunch of water in your trailer and uh, still get a nice breeze through it. They also cover the seals around the window that's as well. So they're not sitting there getting compromised all season in the sun, right? Yeah, that's a great point. Um, on all of your baggage doors on the Rockwood Signature, you're gonna get metal slam latches. Okay, so really nice. There's no fumbling with those thumb latches. Yep. You also get magnetic catches. Yep. Okay. Um, inside, you'll see in this storage compartment, you'll see all the aluminum framing. So that's how this entire trailer is built, but that just gives you a little visual of the aluminum framing that they put on these trailers. Absolutely. I'm gonna, I'll take them back here to the, yeah. uh, the outside kitchen. Rockwood has done an amazing job bringing the comforts and everything you need from home right to the campsite, ready to go for you. So they do feature a two burner suburban stove for the outside kitchen. You do get an extra large outside fridge as well, so you can put all your snacks, your food, back there um, and then you do have some additional storage with the solid wood cabinetry which we'll get into later once we get inside the coach but uh, you can put your plates your cups everything so if you're the type of people that love to entertain this is definitely going to be um, a great addition to your new trailer um, <clears throat> there is a, a quick connect propane as well underneath there so that you can run the, the burner and then it will come with the outside um, griddle cast iron griddle that you can do your, your bacon, your eggs, your pancakes on, everything like that. Let's take them to the back of the coach and just show them a yeah, couple things back here. 
So first thing you're going to see when you look at the back of the coach is all of your connections are going to be right here for you know your water, for um, your antifreeze inlet, uh, even cable, everything outside shower for cold and hot uh, water as well. <clears throat> Anytime you're going to see a ladder, which you're going to see right here, it, it does give you access to go onto the roof to do your maintenance, uh, check every all your seals yearly, right? And that is a um, walkable roof. That's right. I also want to point out one thing too, Mitch, is the backup camera prep that comes on these Rockwoods. So up top there, you do have the option of adding a backup camera. Uh, and what it is, is you will get a wireless monitor, a handheld monitor that goes in the cab of the truck so that you have that visual behind you. If you're camp backing into a campsite, that might be a little bit tight. You have that visual yeah. behind you that you can see. Mm -hmm. okay. You are going to get a receiver back here, and I believe it does have a 200, 300 actually, 300 pound capacity. That if you did want to put a bike rack back there, you bring the whole everybody's bikes yeah. in the family, right? That's right. So, That's right. Um, okay, let's work our way into the coach, and let's take them through the nice floor plan. Yeah, let's have a look. So, I want to point out too when we're moving inside. I want to point out two things here. So the first is going to be this friction hinge door. So that's um, a feature that they've added. Now this is rated up to, is it 25 kilometers an hour wind speed yeah. on this door? Um, so that, you know, when the wind is blowing, it's not gonna blow your door shut. But the other thing too is, you know, all you used to have was this plastic latch. Now Rockwood's given you both. They've given you the friction hinge door. Yeah. And just in case you also have this plastic latch here that works really good too. The other thing um, yeah, we'll also the is the, uh, the Moride steps, they work on a gas strut. They're extremely easy to lift up and take down. As you can see right here, it's actually holding it. This year, um, they've done a few modifications. <clears throat> this one also has a pin that you can pull out just to adjust your legs, right? So, yeah, we're gonna take you into the coach now. We'll go through the floor plan and everything and... Wait a sec. I didn't get that. Could you try again? What do you got, Mitch? Sluggo. Where did you get that? Sluggo. Cooking with, you were cooking with Sluggo. I was cooking with Sluggo last <laughs> night. Guilty as charged. I just found it in my pocket. You know? Let's take that inside. All right, let's bring it inside. <laughs> we'll throw it in the fridge. That's Sluggo. So one thing I want to touch on, guys, is um, we, we didn't touch on it outside. The Rockwood Signature has on the underbelly of the trailer, it's got a fully enclosed uh, underbelly. Yeah. It's also insulated in there. So you have two stages of heat in your floor. Um, because it's insulated and enclosed, you'll have your radiant heat um, going through your underbelly, but you also have 12 volt heat pads on your tank. So you mm -hmm. have two stages of heat there in your underbelly. And it's really nice, you know, for those nights that you're camping where it's, f you know, five degrees, mm -hmm. zero degrees, where it's a little bit brisk, just turn those heat pads on. They are thermostatically controlled. Yep. So they'll turn on and off as they need, but it just gives you that extra peace of mind. And I, it gives you the ability. To <clears throat> I have a lot of clients that go like, they'll camp all the way up to Thanksgiving, yeah. right? Yeah. And they'll do Thanksgiving dinner do in the Easter. trailer. And here in Canada, we do get quite a uh, cold climate during that time in November, yeah. right? So, right. um, you know, that's definitely a benefit on this on this trailer. Look at this kitchen in this trailer. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about that. So I'm going to take you through a couple things. They do a solid surface um, countertop inside the Rockwood product. They also give you an undermount, uh, sorry, an undermounted stainless steel sink. So you're going to get your dual sink if you're the type that likes to do your um, drying and your cleaning all in one. Man, these are heavy. That's some quality. Holy smokes. Right? Yeah. And like I said, you know, bringing all the comforts of home right to the campsite, you're going to get your cool down faucet. So you definitely have um, a lot of stuff you're going to see almost in a residential home. Yeah, this is right? an awesome kitchen. And I mean, I touched on it when we were outside, but this floor plan, so this floor plan features four slides. It's got two slide outs in the living area here, one in the master bedroom that you'll see, and then another one in the bunk room that you'll see. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, I know for my family, like I would love to have this slide out in the bunk room because, hey, who wouldn't love to do this every now and then, right? Yep. Set the kids. I know. I, you <laughs> I hear know you. What I mean. A hundred percent. Um, but it's an awesome family layout. You know, if you are stuck, if it is raining outside and you're stuck in here for a little bit, it gives you plenty mm -hmm. of space. Um, I'm just yeah. going to touch, as you can see here too, there is a ton of storage inside this trailer. It is a big coach, but you are, there's no lack of storage. I mean, you got uh, cabinet storage under here, all up here, right? And if you want to focus in on there, cameraman, 
you can definitely see they do use solid wood cabinetry so it is like a, pretty much a residential grade it's nice and sturdy it's not cheaply built there's no particle board made with uh, the making of it um, they are going to give you a three burner stove they are also giving you um, a nice decent size uh, magic chef oven on this one so you can actually cook something inside your oven microwave and then more additional storage for plates everything that you need now if you work our way over here you're gonna see tell us a little bit about this fridge coat yeah so this is a 12 cubic foot Dometic RV fridge so this will run on 110 or propane and that's a really nice feature um, because it gives you the ability to use this use this fridge on propane if you're not plugged in all the Look. time, right? Look at that. <laughs> Sluggo. Sluggo again. Sluggo was here. <laughs> um, but double door, 12 cubic foot fridge, it gives you a, uh, a really good size. What is this, Mitch? That actually is a tire pressure monitor system. Now, one of the most leading causes don't, of trailer don't keep accidents. This in your fridge on every yeah, it's only when it's on. It's all, yeah. Now, one of the most leading causes of trailer accidents has been led to uh, low tire pressure, and they've yeah, blown a the tire. Lights, yeah. Right. This is going to let you know if your tires are getting deflated or there is uh, you're losing air in them. Right. And keep it nice and safe. So, um, this, yeah. And this comes with the trailer, right? Oh, it comes yeah. with the trailer. No additional cost. Cool. I'm yeah. Put that back in the fridge. Perfect, you get a little pantry back here, just to give you guys a view. I believe, to be, I believe uh, this is a new floor plan. It's, a brand, is it not? Floor it's plan. brand new floor plan, so this is exciting, right? Yeah. I know a lot of people who have kids and everything and they're huge campers, They this is a floor plan, uh, sorry, a floor plan that they've actually been waiting oh, yeah. for, so. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of people looking for a floor plan like this. Moving over here, what you're gonna see, you're gonna see a Bluetooth soundbar case. So this soundbar is paired to the stereo that's right below it. It's also paired to those outside speakers. So you got different mm -hmm. zones for your stereo and it's all Bluetooth controlled. So you can pair your phone up to this, you play your tunes outside while you're sitting by the campfire and control it all up the phone. Right below that, this is a um, 5100 BTU fireplace. Now this is rated for up to 400 square feet. Mm -hmm. It, it can I, actually heat up 400 square feet in 15 minutes. Yeah, like when we show these trailers outside, I mean, I know I've done it, I know you've done it. It warms these trailers up really good without yep. having to run your furnace. And the nice thing that I about it is it's a source of dry heat. So a big, you know, when you're camping in colder weather, a big issue is always condensation, right? And yep. when you're running your propane, it's it's putting off moist heat in here, I guess you could say, right? This is a source of dry heat. Yeah. It's 110 volt, keeps the trailer nice and toasty. Absolutely, why don't we take them through the bathroom and then into the yeah. uh, bedroom. So I'll, I'll touch here on a couple things that I love about how Rockwood does their bathrooms. So <clears throat> first and foremost, you're gonna see that you do get a really nice, decent sized shower. As you can see, I'm the guy that always stands in it just to show my viewers, you know, that you don't have to use it as a broom closet. You can actually use a shower in it, right? Um, if you are familiar with the shock, um, the Aquaview shower miser, this guy right here, what it's going to do, it's going to bypass your hot water from your hot water tank and put it right back in there. As soon as it gets hot, that L bracket's going to turn white and then you know your water's hot. You turn the nozzle and then it's only hot water that's going to come out that's going to go into your gray tank. That's awesome if you right? don't have water. Oh yeah, like in, in a traditional trailer, you would just turn it on, you wait what, three you minutes maybe? Water, yeah. And it's all that water is just going right into your gray tank, yeah. right? So uh, they do give you a nice little vanity. They pay, um, they do a really good job with just little details. Like you got toothbrush holder for a cup yet. <laughs> what is that? Sluggo. Sluggo. We got to get her back. It's all over the place. Even right? when she's not here, she's here. No, I know, right? Um, <clears throat> you do get a medicine cabinet to store additional things. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, equipped on this coach yeah. too, and good thing, Ty the RV guy's not here because right above our heads. <laughs> That's a fantastic fan. That thing can suck out 900 cubic square feet of hot air out of this trailer in under... Or tie the RV guy. Or tie the RV guy right through the <laughs> ceiling, right? It's perfect if you're going on those hikes, you come back in, you're not gonna leave your AC running, right? right. So yeah. you crank that on, it's gonna pull all the hot air right out of your when coach. When you turn that on and you just crack one window in this trailer, you get such a nice breeze. Yeah, this you wouldn't believe it. And if you come on down to Rangeland, we'll show you exactly what we're talking about. I've blown everybody's minds when they see it, <laughs> right? It's like the magic trick that impresses your kids every time That's right. right so moving into the bedroom so this again so here you can see your slide out here on the uh, 8336 mm -hmm. bedroom slide out 
This is a true 60 by 80 residential queen size bed, yeah. and it is an upgraded Serta mattress, and that comes standard on the Rockwood Signatures, okay? Yeah. Or does it come standard? But we always order them in. We always the order them in with right? that, yeah. Yeah. Here you can see the nice windshield that we were looking at outside. So it does have a, cur a blind here. It is a blackout blind, you know, if you want to sleep in when you're camping. But it lets it a lot of nice daylight in and tons of counter space in this bedroom too. You know, I really like that it comes included with these pictures of these random people. It does. Camping. Actually, that's my family. Yeah. Is that you? Is that your, is that your wife? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, cool. No. Okay. I have to be honest, my wife is quite a bit prettier. <laughs> <laughs> She must be watching. She is. Um, <laughs> secondly, you are going to get a spacious wardrobe. So the uh, you do get the option to put hangers up there. They do uh, put that in there. But I want you to focus in, Mr. Cameraman, on something in there. If you look right in there, it actually comes with washer dryer prep. So you do That's have right. the option to have that all-in-one washer dryer thing. I actually love that thing. For a guy like me that doesn't do a crazy amount of laundry, I'm spoiled <laughs> by my wife, right? but you literally take your clothes you throw it in there and that's, that's it right. that's right it, it washes it it dries it it's unbelievable um, right so you can put a lot of things in there is that another fantastic pen where don't there worry it it's not on there it is yeah another fantastic two. fan and that's how we actually order them here at rangeland yeah. everything is pretty much fully loaded with every option you could really want on a coach or need yeah. Yeah, right true. so let's take the folks now to all the way to the back because the um the other thing I wanted to talk about too was uh, a few little things that um, the uh, like the air conditioning on this yeah. coach, right? The, did you talk about the furnace? No, no. So like Rockwood, no. Rockwood Signature. So I talked about our heated and closed underbelly, our 12 volt heat pads. Um, Mitch talked about our upgraded insulation, but the other thing that we're going to add to that is Rockwood Signature comes standard with a 35,000 BTU furnace. Mm -hmm. Now, what you're going to see in a lot of competitors' products is 30,000 BTU, some even a 25,000 BTU. Yeah. 35,000 BTU furnace is going to provide you plenty of heat um, and keep this coach nice and warm. It, it's the large, I think it's the biggest furnace you can get in a travel trailer. Yeah. 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 It is. Let's to be back to the Yeah, room. let's head right on through. Oh, you closed the door on me. <laughs> you want to just close those? This is awesome. Right? I know. This is when I saw this floor plan. I was like, what a home run. Yeah. Cody and I each have uh, young kids. Of so, of our own, just to be specific. <laughs> um, so... You know, something like this, I mean, you know, would really be benefit our families. Um, we would get tons of usage out of this. So if you guys have young kids at home, and what you're going to also notice too is in a lot of trailers, they usually only have one actual Bluetooth stereo system that might have a built-in DVD player in the living room area. Check this out, guys. I know this is like a parent's dream come true. This is a Bluetooth built-in DVD player inside the bunk room so that the kids so can watch. that's separate from the rest of the trailer? Correct. So no all idea. the kids can watch their movies, they can set up, like they can plug in their video games if they want, right? And Whatever so the want, speaker's back in here, here so that, Correct. Like, it runs off of that? It just runs right off of that. Oh, so awesome. they can keep their whole movie time, video game Talk, time, everything yeah. phew, right in the lap. Yeah. Slam that door harder. Do it. Because we just did it. <laughs> uh, secondly, you're going to notice like the bunk here, this is an actual, I would say this is equivalent to, it's huge, right? Yeah. It's extra wide uh, single it's bunk up twin. there. Yeah. So then the other thing too down here, I actually like these, um, even if, uh, I mean, I know that uh, Dana, our owner has had the similar floor plan yeah. before yeah, she will, right. she'll say it time and time again, these are a lot more comfortable than your actual yeah. trifold sofa, that's right. right? So if you just want to take a look down here, <clears throat> what you do at, what you can do is fold this out. Sorry that, thanks buddy. So you can have you can have it fold down you can sleep more on the floor if you want or if you want to hang out lay back watch a movie um you know lounge there's a ton of space in here and then you do get this bunk over here too wouldn't you agree though that this is a bit wider than your average bunk yeah it is actually than right? your average bunk tour. and it is the teddy bear mattresses so and i do believe this it does flips up, yeah. it does flip it's up on a gas strap so it's nice and easy you don't have to actually rely on you know clipping it into the walls or anything like that right and then it just comes down just like what is that come on come on <laughs> sluggo wow 
Um, <laughs> Mitch, why don't you talk about Range Land RV and what we do when a customer buys a trailer from us? Absolutely. So when you buy a trailer from Range Land RV, we're going to set you off right on the right foot. We're going to give you our campfire package and included in that campfire package, you are going to get a 12 volt deep cell marine grade battery. You're going to get a filled, uh, actually filled propane tanks, depending on what is equipped on the coach. Um, you are going to get a park adapter, a water pressure regulator. It goes through our shop. They do an awesome job with 150 point mechanical inspection interior exterior um, you are going to get an awesome walkthrough orientation with one of our knowledgeable guys um, <clears throat> and then we do have our six day service guarantee and that six day service guarantee i don't think there is honestly a dealership in north america that has a six day service guarantee no. like we do yeah and i mean it comes down to us wanting to take care of our customers right? we treat our customers like family and we understand that your camping season is short and if you if you experience a problem you know, in the middle of camping season, we want to make sure that we get you out on the road as soon as we can. So that's six day service guarantee. If you experience a problem that's prohibiting you from using your trailer, we guarantee to get you in and out of our service department within six days, provided that we have the parts or can get the parts. That's so right. So we just want to keep your downtime as little as possible so that mm -hmm. you can go camping with your family right. uh, as much as you can in our short season. Because trailers are beautiful, but it's the memories that matter. That's right. Right? That's right. All right, guys. Well, I'm Big Mitch P with Rangeland RV, and this is Cody at Rangeland RV. Awesome. Happy camping. Thanks, guys. Happy camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV guy here again and with me once again is Chris from DC Power Corp who supplies all of our batteries and our solar setup here at Rangeland. And what we're going to talk to you guys about now is the solar package that we offer at our dealership from Chris here. So a lot of the questions that we get Chris from a lot of new campers and even experienced campers is they're talking to us about solar. You know, what's the best system to go with? You know, what's, you know, when should I be using it? How to maintain it? All that kind of stuff. So do you want to take us through all that? Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. So I think the first thing to touch on is, is what really does a solar system do? Absolutely. Uh, some of the uh, questions we get asked a lot that um, really sort of highlight how people misunderstand what solar is. People will ask like, um, what, what, what do I need for solar to run a microwave? Or of how course. much solar do I need to, to make a pot of coffee? Right. And that's not really how it works. Um, essentially the easiest way to look at a solar package is it's an onboard battery charger. So every day you're using battery power to power all your devices. And during the day when the sun's out, the solar panel is replacing that power back into your battery bank. Right. So that it allows you to do two different things. First off, you can sort of do more with your RV while you're dry camping. But also, too, you can go for longer because without a solar package, you'll be surprised to find how limited you can be and how many days you can go camping before you start running out of power. So Absolutely, absolutely. Um, if we look at it in terms, um, anybody who saw the, the battery segment we did and, and we were talking about how much power people use in a day. So the average person is gonna use about 50 to 60 amp hours of power every single day. Um, if you have two six volt batteries and you're gonna go dry camping, you have about 220 amp hours of storage capacity. So if we think of 60 a day versus 220 total, yeah. we're looking at three or four days before we start running out of power. Exactly. A lot of people want to go for a week. They might even want to go for two weeks. Um, so uh, this is where solar can be a huge benefit. Um, if we look at it in terms of our most simple package that really is on the market, the 185 watt kit um, has really become sort of the starter package. And, don't let that fool you because uh, I'm going to explain how much of a difference it can make for you. Yeah. Every single day, on average, in spring and summer months, this will replace about 45 amp hours back into your battery bank. So instead of using 60 every day, we've cut our net consumption down to 15 amp hours a day. Wow, if you serious. have 220 amp hours of storage in your in your six volt battery bank, and you're only using 15 a day, yeah. you just increased your camping time to over two weeks. No kidding. So just with the most basic and simple of solar kits. Uh, completely solve the problem for people that want to do long-term camping with a fairly simple battery bank. Okay, yeah. and the fairly simple battery bank, you're talking something around like what, two six volts or two something like that? Two six volts is the perfect starting point yeah. for probably 80% of the RVers out there. Okay. One of these kits with two six volts will allow them to do everything they want to do. That's awesome. Now, of course, for people that are looking to do a little bit more, you know, they've got an inverter on board and, and we're going to do all kinds of things. We're going to watch movies and we're going to make toast and coffee in the morning. We're going to microwave stuff. We want to really use the unit as if we 
were plugged in, right. there's packages for that too. We can go with four six volt batteries, we can go with a 300 watt kit and just sort of increase the storage capacity mm -hmm. and then increase the power that we're putting back in very easily. And for our campers out there that don't know what an inverter is, do you want to touch on that a little bit too? Absolutely. So what an inverter does is it essentially allows us to use all our 120 volt devices, our AC powered devices inside the trailer even though we don't have plug-in available. Yeah. It takes the 12 volt battery power, converts it into 120 volt AC power. So now all of our outlets remain live inside of our trailer, even if we don't have shore power available. So awesome. Yeah. yeah awesome. Now some people, campers, obviously like shade, right? We like yeah, to park in the trees. Having one of these mounted to your roof may not um, be It'll ideal. Be it yeah. may not be ideal. So we have some other options available for people that want to take advantage of solar, but maybe can't get good sun exposure. Uh, this is one of the newest items here that solves that problem. It's a portable folding solar kit. It has all the advantages of a roof mounted kit, but you can move it around throughout the day to really maximize your exposure to the sun and uh, get some good recharging going Absolutely. On. So uh, we've got this one set up here with a adapter cord where it actually just plugs right into the pre-wired solar port on the trailer. The controller is built right onto the back of the panel. It's that simple. So this That's is it. something that you can just simply do yourself. You don't Absolutely. have to have the professionals install it. It's nice and easy. Get to where you're going. You pop the legs out on it super easy. Get it somewhere where it's facing the sun. Plug it in. And yeah, I know most of our trailers all come with actually this simple little, what do you, what do you call that? Is it a, a ZAMP plug-in? This is or? a pre-wired ZAMP port. Gotcha. Um, the kits that we supply come with uh, alligator clips, eyelet terminals for systems that don't have the pre-wired port. Right. And they also now come with the ZAMP pre-wired port and the Furion connector as well if you happen to have a Furion. Port. Oh, awesome. So, awesome. Nice and easy for everybody to just connect, uh, go right to the batteries. You don't have to take the lids off the boxes and clamp onto the batteries directly right. anymore if you have one of these ports. So very convenient. Awesome. So one of the questions I get asked a lot, especially for the customers that like to leave their trailers in storage, they have this big solar setup. Is this something that is going to allow them to essentially have have a, say a solar kit like the big one here or something like that, is it going to keep their battery maintained through the winter time? Is that a safe way to maintain things? Or? Well, we'll touch on the winter in a second, but okay. I'm glad you brought this up because one of the biggest issues that we see in how people use their units throughout the season yeah. is the, uh, the downtime, the time where it's parked at a storage lot. Anybody who saw the battery segment heard me mention about how you've got all these things that are drawing a little bit of power when it's not being used, right? So yeah. if you take your unit to a storage lot and you leave it sit for two, three weeks, you may be surprised when you bring it home before you use it, the batteries are completely dead. Uh, one of the biggest advantages to these systems, now this focuses more on the roof mount because right. obviously a portable panel is not going to be utilized while you're in storage. But if you have the roof mount style where it's up there and you've got your unit parked in a storage lot, this will keep the batteries topped up the whole time it's in storage. So oh, that's awesome. When you pull it out of the unit, uh, you pull your unit out of the storage lot on a Friday afternoon, you're going to go camping, you're fully charged, you're ready to go. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah, so very convenient. Solves a lot of battery issues. Um, so Yeah, well, it's nice to have the convenience you pull up to the trailer it's you know charged up ready to go and start camping right absolutely, so yeah get on the road yeah yeah um you know one thing we should touch on too a lot of people ask uh you know it's a it's a bit of an investment uh you know how long can i expect to get out of this exactly solar kit, right? yeah so um these panels are designed to last 30 years plus the warranty on them is 25 years so just think about no that kidding. I mean, these kits are going to outlast most of the roofs they get installed on uh, very good value. They're warranted against all kinds of weather conditions and they are warranted against hail. Uh, even the big hailstorms we saw last summer here in yeah. Calgary, uh, we had two panels that were destroyed due to hail. Think about that. I mean, no all kidding. The cars and houses that were that were destroyed from these major hailstones. Uh, two, two warranty claims we had in that, and it's fully covered. So if it does wow. happen to shatter it, uh, you're fully covered, but it's very rare. They are tough, they're meant to be outdoors. They can take everything that Mother Nature throws at them. So. Awesome, that's great. Was there anything else that you wanted to touch on, Chris, for solar? Well, I think that's about it. Um, Perfect. Certainly, if anybody has any uh, questions, uh, feel free to talk to the parts professionals at Rangeline RV. Um, this kit right here, uh, just to sort of circle back to the 185, I mentioned it was sort of the simplest of, of yeah. things, but how it can make a huge uh, difference to the average camper. $899 installed. I mean, Absolutely. That's what we're talking about 30 years plus of, of life expectancy. Amazing value. So. Yeah, no, it's and it's absolutely. It's yeah. a great way to go for sure. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks again for watching. Thanks again, Chris, for coming down here and talking to us about the solar and the batteries today. You're if you have any questions, you can feel free to contact me or even anyone at the dealership there and ask us about the solar, and we'll get you guys set up and ready to go. Thanks again for watching, and thanks again, Chris. Thank you.